you're unnecessary. Every time I edit this, um, I always want to like include a clip before the intro happens, but there's nothing like good for me to use for that. So here's me being meta for like 30 seconds. All right. Die. <laughs> All right, now roll the, roll, roll, roll the. Also, note to self now, uh, cut off me in the middle of saying roll the intro and then and roll the intro and don't include this part thanks like stop being a piece of crap <laughs> damn it now i want to include that part because you accused me of being a piece of crap <laughs> i don't know what i'll do with that in the future i actually have paper next to me this time so i can remember to write down time mm -hmm. codes of editing jokes because i haven't been doing that let's see I think we left off on my turn. Sure. Yeah, yeah, because you did the space look. Oh yeah, that's right. That's fine by me. And I need to remember how to play this game. Yeah. Am I the only one who's being annoyed by the light behind us? I can use the... Oh, I forgot that I shoot tornadoes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's why I'm taking so much damage, because I thought I was not shooting when I was. There. Now, although this affects the viewer at not at all, it is excessively dark down here. Good. I don't know why that's good. Neither do I. I'm at an extreme angle, but it's fine. I find it very annoying that you have to shoot slightly above uh, where you intend to hit because yeah, this I, cursor just doesn't work. I don't know what happened with that. I mean, it's not a huge correction that you need to make, but it's a correction. Yeah, it's true. It's more than nothing, and nothing is what it should be. Like, it, it feels like they intended for it to be played in third person mode and then grafted on the first person mode afterwards and the result is this. Hmm. So we were talking beforehand about how Jacob is tired. Yes. He did like everything that makes you tired. Mm -hmm. He worked, he ate a big meal, he took a shower. But I did drink a liter of Pepsi. <laughs> and that makes it all better. That evens it out. It's for the balance. If I ever, uh... If Perfectly I ever... balanced, <laughs> as all things should be. <laughs> nice. If I ever, like, went on a show of somebody I was a fan of, or something, oh, I would open hello. up by being, like, saying, like, I really like your show and you guys are cool. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be like, all right, now in order to balance out all this goodwill, I have to be an asshole for the entire rest of the time I'm on the show. And then I'd, I'd do that. <laughs> all right. Am I even dealing damage to these guys? It doesn't look like I'm dealing I think damage. they have, like, shields, so you can't shoot them from the front. you got to, like, get behind them. Or, yeah, tornado or bombs, something like that. Let's try the Or whip. that. Oh, right, the oh, Lightning oh. Ravager is specifically designed to destroy the shields. Oh yeah, the whip just fucking melts. I forgot that was a thing. Watch me whip. Yeah, that just melts. I hate that song. Now watch me whip. I'm not gonna go on a rant about that because I already did that once. There's really in this arc, in there's, this series. there's no need. Yeah. Okay. It's whip, terrible, and we know why it's terrible. The whip doesn't. On flying wheels. for somewhat obvious reasons. Yeet. I cannot hear a goddamn thing that old man is saying. It sounds like the um, the adults from Charlie Brown. I was gonna say the same goddamn thing. <laughs> you know what's funny? Before before we started recording, I was actually watching a video essay about Charlie Brown. Yeah. So it's really weird. That's actually like straight up on my mind. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. So it's funny you say that. <laughs> 
I don't know why. I don't know why it was on your mind, but well, that's why I was gonna. Well, say because it. it's the classic. Uh, like it's a class classic turn of phrase that you use to like talk about people that you can't hear. Yeah. Designated survivor. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Uh, the parents from Charlie Brown or the humans from Tom and Jerry? Um. I don't know. I feel like the <laughs> parents from Charlie Brown because the humans from Tom and Jerry never do shit. Even That's true. Even when actual like important shit is going down, they don't do anything. Like World War Two in their house between a cat mm -hmm. and a mouse. Yeah, like they seem perfect, completely oblivious of this, even though they really should be. Kind of like Switzerland in World War Two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just trying to see how many times I can shove World War II into this oh, fucking discussion. Switzerland absolutely knew what was going down. They just chose not to do anything about it. That's what I thought. That's what I thought you were saying about the, the mm -hmm. Tom and Jerry people. No, they just that seem... they just ignore it like they don't care. No, it's not that they don't care. It's that they just seem completely unaware that it's going down. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Where do they get, like, fucking nuclear weaponry? Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do these families just have it lying around the house? Yeah, maybe they're like, yeah, every household needs all of this random shit. <laughs> we maybe, need three shotguns, just in case. Maybe they're like a bunch of boogaloo uh, people that are prepared for like World War Three. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm already on this. It's list. like a bunch of rednecks. Yeah, secretly... The people in Tom and Jerry are a bunch of oblivious rednecks. <laughs> which is the worst combination. Yeah, that's fair. I definitely had something else to say, but I completely lost it during that tangent about oblivious rednecks. Okay, it looks like I'm surrounded. Here. Have you ever played the uh, Tom and Jerry video game? No. For the N64? No. <laughs> there was a fighting game. What? For the N64. <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually surprisingly okay. <laughs> and you could play as all the different famous characters from the show. Uh, Obviously yes. Tom, Tom and Jerry. Jerry, the dog. The dog was one of them. Did these fuckers deal uh, like five damage a hit? I think what the... I think the... Uh, I think the duck or whatever okay, was I'm one dead. of them too. Also the, the cat that beats up Tom in that one episode. Okay. Yeah. It was funny. And yeah. you could, like, fucking pick up pots and throw them at each other and shit. <laughs> I remember it having a really difficult single player, but that could just be because I was young. Nice. I always got stuck on this one level where you're in, like, a fucking secret lab for some reason. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. The enemy was just tough there. I don't huh. even remember who it was. I gotta look this up now. I gotta, I, I gotta see how much, how much of this is accurate and how much of it is just a fucking fever dream. Well, I mean, did you ever play it? I don't know. Did I? <laughs> yes, I, I did play it. <laughs> how can we really know what we have and have not done? <laughs> Truly. Okay, this crystal gun is leveled up, so at least we're making some progress. Tom and Jerry video game. Apparently there was a couple sequels. One of them was called War and War in No War of the Whiskers. I don't know. Fists of Fists of Furry, that's what it's called. Wow, that title did not age well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it, re it really didn't. <laughs> that's definitely it though, I remember it now that I see it. Oh, the fucking the fucking blue mouse? From the Musketeers episode? Dude, do you, if you think I remember all of these episodes, <laughs> you're, you're out of your mind. <laughs> there were so many fucking Tom and Jerry episodes. Hang on, let me see if I can find the picture <laughs> so I can prove that I'm not insane. Alright. This fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that one, right? I, I remember the baby mouse at least. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Okay. He's, one of the episodes he's in is a, he's a musketeer. It's a, like a meme. Okay. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, I just took 10 damage from one shot. No wonder I can't make any progress to it. What's the thing he says? 
There's a there's a famous line that he says. I don't remember. I do definitely remember this wet episode though. I felt like I was crazy for a minute there. So how's this going? I died three times already. Ooh. Because e because I only have 35 health and these dudes deal like 10 damage per shot. Jesus Christ. Did he say he wanted it delivered to him by a Lombax, or did he say he wanted it by lunch? I think it was by lunch. That makes more because sense. Because that seems like the sort of humor that this game is going for. Yeah. Alright, let's just bury you in magma. I want those reports on my desk by month, by lunch, lunch. By, but, by munch. But month. <laughs> yes. The person who delivers these reports to me must eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Hey, he's a very particular dictator. <laughs> he's gonna fucking <laughs> call in court for that job. <laughs> I'm sure. Yep. When he's not uh, announcing in, like, the fucking Thunderdome games, mm -hmm. he's uh, giving him, the dictator, the thunder. Oh. In his private quarters. Oh. Well, we've already established he, like, fucking washed his feet or some shit. Yeah. Probably licked him clean. Ugh. Oh, God. Why are you making this worse <laughs> than it already is? <laughs> because I hate you. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Fine. I see how it is. I was uh, I was watching an episode of Community today. Oh yeah. I was just going in and rewatching a bunch of the episodes I hadn't seen in a while, and uh, my parents uh, walked in and decided to have dinner. Uh, and the episode I was on was the Halloween special, mm -hmm. where it starts out like a normal fucking Halloween party, and then you find out the dean got some like government experimented meat, and then it turns into an actual zombie apocalypse. Oh, shit. And that's like a canon thing that happens in the series. <laughs> and when the episode started, my mother was, I was like, this episode is weird. And my mother was like, this show's always weird. And I was like, no, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Community start off like as a normal sitcom, but then devolves into madness? Yeah, pretty a much. A third of the way in. Not even. <laughs> like, uh, I'd say about one sixth of the way in. Because it starts getting crazy uh, from the beginning of season two, and there's six seasons, <laughs> and hopefully at some point a movie. Well, we'll see. That's an inside joke for the sh for the show. But, uh, um, yeah, I think I personally don't give a crap about Community. I, it's a great show. So yeah, I like it. I think it's one of the best sitcoms. Am I supposed to, like, shoot these turds? Okay, yeah, they flash red when I hit them. Have you watched any sitcoms? Uh, I've wa when I was, like, ten, I watched iCarly. Oh, yeah? Well, was that your favorite, then? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not- it's not like I was ranking shows back then. It's just like, yeah, this seems good. You know. But if you haven't watched any others, then that has to be your favorite by default. Yeah. Okay. iCarly is actually pretty good, though. Okay. I guess we're restarting this because I didn't know there was fucking magma right in front of the bull right there. Oof. You gotta watch where you're walking. Well, it's hard to do it when it's this over-the-shoulder perspective. Okay, I'm out of my gun. That's fast. Well, yeah, the buzzsaw shooter. <laughs> Can I groove a on the turret? I don't know. Well, let's find out. You know what? I want to fucking find out if I can groove a on the turret. No. Aw, oh, damn, damn it. Damn it. I found a chink in the armor. <laughs> we need a new Twitter account called Can You Groove a Tron That? Okay. Where so we just try to. Try to use the Groovatron on every enemy and see what happens. You know. 
pretty sure this is way too far away. Was that a shotgun? Yeah. Perhaps. But no, I think I think Community is the funniest sitcom. I don't and, know. I just per yeah. uh, I also like How I Met Your Mother, but that one's less funny and more actually like good story comparatively. Hmm. Until the know. last season when it goes completely off the rails and then nobody knows what's going on. I don't know. I personally just don't find sitcoms particularly funny. That's just my opinion. I, mean, I know that a lot of people do, but I'm just not one of those. People. I don't. I don't understand what would. I, I. I just don't get why you would consider an entire genre to be not funny. Well, I've because seen, it's about the joke writing. Well, I see a lot of sitcoms for like one or two episodes, and none of them grip me. And so I'm just like, it must be a way that the jokes are told that is inherent to the sitcom stuff. I don't know. That's why I say that. Because clearly... Okay. Are we, because, say, are like, we saving we were, up for armor? If we were talking about like Big Bang Theory, I'd be with you. I understand. But like, the entire genre of sitcoms? I don't know. What are you talking about? Are we saving up for something? Yeah, are we saving up for armor? Um, maybe? We should probably just save up for armor. Just yeah. in case. Just to be safe. Because we know how this game series works. Yeah. If, you, if you're not maxed out on armor, you're just fucking chumps. You can do the upgrades, because those use a different currency. Yeah. Uh, we don't care about the tornado launcher, but I think the buzz blades might be good. Shard Reaper and the Plasma Beasts are already nearly full, so... So we can just... Fill one of those up. Oh yeah, that's... That takes our damage way over the top, just immediately. Okay, so we're done with the Shard Reaper. When they're complete, the meters always end at full. Yeah. So let's see, we could... St I, I think I want to buff up the Bug Blades. Okay. Bada-bing! Bada 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 bing, bada bada boom. Boom. Bull. 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 God damn it. <laughs> okay, okay. More ricochets? Okay, we'll take that. Hey. Where's that uh, clasped Italian hand? <laughs> yeah. And the meme. Bada bing. Cesium blade edges. This upgrade adds a highly combustible cesium coating to the edges of each blade. The blades will explode shortly after affixing themselves to any wall or foe. Yeah. Doesn't that kind of conflict with the bouncing thing, though? I don't know. Maybe the last time they bounce, they, when stick. they, they stick, and when they stick, they blow up. Okay. So, do we want more ammo? I don't think so. We want to work on the damage. That bolt thing would be nice, but it's too late. Yeah. You don't have enough for it. Yeah. So I think we want to save up until we can get these damage bonuses. Remember that the bonuses that give you more currency make everything a lot faster. Yeah. They just kind of exponentially add to your progression. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess we're... A bada-bing, bada-boom. Bada I was, happens, uh... happens, like, every other time. I know, it's so bad. Um, I think you just gotta purchase the upgrades really fast so he doesn't have enough time to say it more than once. <laughs> Alright, but I still want to read out, like, the special upgrades. Um... Spirit Fairer, one of the characters is like a mafia guy. You picked a dangerous time to visit Rack and Five. Old Percival is shut down the spaceport until he gets his paws on the long back secret. What? Alright. So, Emperor Percival has shut this place down and we're invading it anyways? Yeah, basically. Hey, to explore, can you help the long back? So, do you know what these are? Uh, well, I suppose you can use this here gyro cycle. Of course, a businessman such as myself couldn't part with it without some sort of monetary compensation. Uh, bitch. Well, fuck it. Let's just see what this shit is. Now, careful with this thing. The long backs I bought it from modified it with a terror thruster. 
What the fuck is this? I don't know, but it looks kind of cool. However, it's just another bullshit thing we're gonna use like twice. Yeah. I mean, at least it's cheap this time. Mm. So one of the characters in Spiritfarer had a... It is like a mafia dude. So when I was reading all the dialogue, I was talking in, Hey, you know, hey, we're walking in a kind of voice, non-stop. So I got really used to doing a fucking Brooklyn accent. Mm-hmm. And anyway, now I'm a little upset because I, I have no reason to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zerk. He, that's, that's like the best shit in the game. Which is why they're expensive. Um, well, then we're gonna fucking buy it then. Yeah. Can Mr. Zircon is oh, a great we can name. Kill oh, these God. Guys. What? Battery is running low. I did not apparently plug in my computer. Well, shit. Where in God's name did I put that plug? If that computer crashes, we are the big fuck. Yes. Okay, can I ride this grind rail? I don't know. Can I'm, you? I'm just... How did I find my way up here? Where are you? I'm on top of a building. I don't know. Did you ride the grind rail to get up there? No. I just platformed my way up. Oh, nice. Okay, so that grind rail goes down. Hey, I'm walking here, you know? Yup. Does this take me- activate the gyrocycle? Yeah, okay. obviously that was the thing we needed to get, so we have to do it. Okay. Who knows what the fuck it does. Oh. Probably ends up with me dying. Uh, <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that thing looks really fun, like, to ride on. Yeah, I'm sure it would be, like, IRL. Okay. Now we're just, like, having exponential acceleration here. Oh, boy. And it's not with my consent. <laughs> okay, at least we survived. Oh, that's right. He did say to be careful because it was modified with something that speed boost, which explains why it's it canonically is under control. Yeah, so you can press X to get a quick boost of speed. Yeah. Uh, but that's the only button you can use. Oh. That's the only control that you apparently. Have. <laughs> it's just. Go forward and move around or speed boost. Well, we're gonna have to come back through here. Yeah. Because I saw some shit that we clearly missed. Yeah, some that, shit we didn't interact with. That we wouldn't have been able to interact with anyways, but. Yeah. I'm dead. Dang it. <laughs> this is kind of funny to watch. So, like, to move, you're just hitting X. I right? know. Uh, X is to get a quick boost of speed. Uh, so you can move with the joystick? Yes. You move uh. with the joystick, but for a boost of speed, you press X. Okay. They really, uh, like their dramatic cinematic shots like this. Yeah. I don't know if how much this accomplishes, but hey, at least were it you looks in control nice. there at the end? Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Their their language just looks like a bunch of nuts and bolts too. <laughs> Like, way to typecast, buddy. 
Ah, uh, yes, zoom in on the clipping. Mm hmm. What? You've got to be kidding me. We've come all this way and there's nothing here. It's a workshop. It's one of those ancient holo players. <laughs> we used to watch old episodes of Mads and Janice on those certain things. Speaking of Tom and Jerry references. <laughs> Center for Advanced Lombax Research has selected you as the beta tester for the most important invention in Lombax history, the Dimensionator. Built by eight of the brightest minds in Lombax history, the Dimensionator's ergonomic design is the culmination of nearly three Arcturian cycles of research. Now, with your help, we will finally end the Kragmite's long reign of terror. But before you begin, it is vital you observe the following safety guidelines. If you are pregnant, have a heart condition, or are allergic to interdimensional travel, please consult a physician before using the Dimensionator. <laughs> Should you be inadvertently warped to the dimension of the Xanatharian death weasels, remain calm and access the pepper spray located in your beta test kit. In the unlikely event that the Dimensionator creates a time-space singularity and tears the fabric of the universe asunder, please log an A bug and notify a programmer immediately. Again, I'm joking like this. ...on planet Sargasso for live training and deployment. As a programmer, I like that. <laughs> Please log a book. Why? So are they hiding in like a pocket dimension? I guess we're going to find out. Sir Gasso? <laughs> that sounds like the name of a very gassy general. Ugh. Just like, ah oh, yes, let me introduce you to my new joke D&D character. Sir Gasso. <laughs> sounds like something out of a fucking comedy sketch. My name is Sir Gasso, the flatulent. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is what we've evolved to do. Uh, this thing is open. I need to be able to see that light. Okay, we have rare tanning in the game, so we can keep upgrading the buzz. Blades. Where the fuck did we get more rare tanning? Do get to do the bolt thing. Yeah. yeah. Upgraded. Upgrades. All right. So that reminds me, we should watch the movie Upgrade done sometime. It's good. Done and done. All right. So now this is. At least you didn't say the thing. The thing. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, Blake. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't do it. Ah, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> you didn't even say shit. I know, that made it worse. What a rip. Alright, I'm off of this place. <laughs> Let's go! I guess that's the end of the level. Yeah. Did that one feel shorter or was that just me? It felt short despite me taking like three times as long as I should have. Alright, so we're off to planet Sergasso. So yes. now it's your turn. I'm pr I think that it was short because the space level probably counted as part of it. I think it did. And you ended up doing that. So. Yeah. So we ended up like halfway through the, this particular one. Yeah. But it's fine. Eh, whatever. Now I've got Planet Sargasso. Mm hmm. <sighs> and we're here to investigate the uh, Lombax helmets. Lombax helmets. Yes. I think. 
I don't know why we're he particularly here. Yeah, I feel like this time it isn't even the game's fault. We just weren't paying attention. Yeah, probably. Oh, shit. This is probably that place that was in the testing video. That's probably why. Possibly. How do we buy armor? Uh, I think it's a specific armor vendor. Is this armor? Ah, uh, it is. Here we go. Yeah, see? Motherfucker. I think we had enough before, and now we don't. Well, what did we spend it on? The oh. gyro thing? Oh, it was the, um, min the minions. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, hey there, friend. You know, Dude, fuck off. Launch pads are out of you know what I'm saying? This decryptor can get them going again, but I couldn't part with it. Let me guess. We, we find some, some more Leviathan souls? He's a wise guy! Great. Great. That look of sheer terror on Ratchet's face. He's just like, dick guy. Damn. <laughs> Clank's getting savage. <laughs> yeah, Clank is pretty savage. Please die. Uh... Why are you no longer taking damage? Okay. Damn. These things are just soaking damage. Ow, fuck off, dude. Maybe he'll finally die by the end of the next Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd be better off just waiting for him to die. I can piss these things off so they'll come after me. Also, I'm uh, now out of ammo because of that. The bomb glove. But good? Question mark? Perhaps. What? It's the uh, super bomb glove. Yeah. Is that even doing anything to them? I have no idea. It's hard to tell when the, like, explosion covers up the red flash that they make yeah. when they get damaged, so it's well, really it hard to Well, it killed them, so it had to be doing something. Uh, Plasma beasts. Is it just me, or the plasma beasts just, like, not stick around for very long? No, they, no, they just ram into the enemy and go down. They just make one ram attack and then die. Yeah, basically. I don't know. It just feels uh, really over dramatic for what it is. Uh, okay. So we're on the hunt for Leviathan souls. Yeah, this uh, rib cage looks prominent. What kind of prison do they put skeletons in? Um, a rib cage. Yeah, it's almost like that joke was obvious because the punch or the punchline came before it. I let that thing kill me because I didn't care. <laughs> okay. Hey, we might have enough for that armor now. We do. So I it was it was work. a tactical death. Yeah, tactical death. Let's call it that. Yeah. This is my video on how to speed run Ratchet and Clank. Uh, you need to kill yourself in that section so you can get the armor. It's required. Yeah. It saves three frames. It's worth it. Yeah. You can see like a bunch of speedrunners like clapping silently. Yeah. To the side of this video. Yeah, yeah. That makes so much sense. Three frames, man. <laughs> Three frames is a big deal in uh, speedrunning, I guess. I mean, only in, like, super optimized speedruns. <laughs> Fucking Super Mario 64. Like, Super Mario 64, Super Metroid, games like that, where, like, the community for speedrunning has been around for so long, and it's still so robust, that, you know, every new trick that comes out, even if it only saves half a second, is just a big fucking deal at this point.
Whereas some like more niche titles be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. This is easier, so. Yeah, there's a point. Safe stress. There is a point during which you just stop taking damage for a while, and I don't know why. Yeah. Good idea. Fan. Oh, I think killing those things gave you Leviathan Sons. The big boys? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure, but it seemed like something big, just like, in Spectral, just entered your body. I totally missed that. Fucking Skyrim ass shit. That probably is the case, because that would explain why. Why they take so goddamn long to kill. Yeah, they're basically the boss, the mini bosses of area. They're the mini bosses, but they just don't have health bars. Yeah. Would have been nice, but hey. Yeah, health bars really help you feel like you were doing something. Yeah. Because if not, and the enemy just has a fuck ton of health, then it's hard to gauge whether you're doing damage. Yeah, that's a good point. That's why when I make uh, bosses in. When I make, when I make bosses in DD, I gave them, like, an extra health bar, because if you killed one of the health bars, then you felt like you were, you know, on your way to success. Rather, yeah. Rather than just wailing on this dude for an hour and not knowing whether you were getting close. That, and it keeps the boss from getting instantly overkilled by the party's DPS. <laughs> yeah. Because that happens. Oh yeah. I have three Leviathan souls now. Huh. Did they just make a joke about Ratchet being a fossil? No, they said that they're, they're old robots. So oh. he was saying his friend was old. Uh, saying his friend was old, not Ratchet. Yeah. Ratchet's not that old. Because Ratchet was only, like, cryoed for probably five years at max, right? Yeah, it probably wasn't long. Because... Quark's around. Quark's around, and he doesn't even look middle-aged yet. Yeah. Did they, did they kill Angela off-screen? No, Angela's still in the Andromeda galaxy. I don't think so. I think they killed her off-screen. No, because, like, they said that he's the last... Lombax, Lombax in, in the, the galaxy. galaxy, but Angela's in a different galaxy. So it's Look, technically not breaking canon, it's just that they forgot about her. Uh, uh. Oh. 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 Oh! Oh god. What is this garbage? It's a tilt minigame. What is this garbage? That looked. Oh no! That looked immediately followed by this. Physical pain intensifies. <laughs> this one's kind of cool though. Ratchet, I'm gonna regret I saying that. I can already tell. Hold on. Go down. Okay, thank you. I will not go down on you, Blake. <laughs> Do I really have to fly through the ring specifically? Can what is this, the Superman 64? It kind of is, now that you mention it. What has been seen <laughs> cannot be unseen. Uh, the okay. facility is in this sector. When this is over, we should probably have Big Al check you out. He may have fried a sister board. Alright, Chief. What can we do Skip here for? Alright, Chief. Hey. We got the weapons. Get the damage. Done. It's all, it's all upgraded. Cool. Complete. Plasma beasts. Fuck it. We uh, don't have any other weapons right now. And probably won't be getting any soon. Hey, bada bing! Bada boom! Bada boom! I'm actually kind of enjoying this level, to be honest. Yeah, it seems fairly enjoyable. It's been pretty decent so far. Famous last words. What is this? Oh. An enemy. 
No, I mean the, the fucking weapon I was building. It was a piece of shit, is what it was. I am the great mighty poo, and I will throw my shit at you. See, it worked. Fucking aim acceleration, bitch. Are you still going off about aim acceleration? It, it really bugs me, man. I don't like aim acceleration. I don't think it should be in games. Or at least make an option to turn it off. Okay. This is weird. I mean, obviously I guess you I get, get to whatever. choose the path. Yeah, but there's only one correct choice. Correct. If I go here, where does it go? Nowhere. So I just had to actually take a look ahead of time and see where it was going. Yes, this is the part in video game history where um, the developers other than Nintendo try to implement uh, motion controls into their games. Yeah. And it did not go well. I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but it just feels like a distraction, you know what I mean? Eh. It's like... The Nintendo games felt like it made sense because that's what you were getting into the game for. Oftentimes. Some of them. Some of them. But then there was also other games that just shoehorned it in on Nintendo. Yeah. Or like there were games that just wanted to be regular ass games, mm -hmm. but were confined by the fact that yeah, this is a fucking weird ass fucking nunchaku controller. Okay, I personally didn't have any issue with the nunchuck controllers myself. They're not terrible, but I just... It's far from optimal, though, I It will just say. seems really odd when you're playing, like, a normal-ass fucking game. And you've got this we weird bullshit going on, and it's like, why? <laughs> you know? Uh, not really, because I actually got semi-competitive in Brawl with the Wii Remote and nunchuck. I mean, I played it with the Wii Remote and nunchuck, too, but only mm -hmm. because that was what it was for. Like, uh... Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, it, it felt weird. It, or it didn't feel weird to me because that's just how the game was meant to be played. Yeah, but, it, I mean... It still felt weird. I was I did it, but it still felt weird. Yeah. I uh, mean, okay. I, I mean... No depth perception? Once I found out that you could plug in, like, a GameCube controller, I used that instead. But I didn't feel like the Wii Remote and Nunchuck was like holding me back. Hmm. That's just me though. I lived and breathed that console while it was still relevant. Yeah, that was a weird era. I don't know for sure how much and of this I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna put it all here. Pretty sure this is an optional hmm. thing I'm doing. Well, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Good question. Um, but yeah, you know, Nintendo got really successful with its motion control shtick, and then it's in this, around this era, that uh, Sony and Microsoft tried to copy it. Yeah, but they also wanted to preserve the normal feeling controllers. Yeah. So they only, like, did a slight tilt thing. Yeah, so they only sort of did it. Why am I here? The view? Probably not. Yeah, I would assume not. Surely there's got to be something. Yeah, really. Unless they want you to, like... Do I just go down there? Oh, that is a new area. I just go down there. Okay. There definitely looked like there was a different direction to go down there, though. Fuck. Oh, no. That's just a wall. Okay. Watch it just be like a tar pit that sucks you in. Yeah. That would totally be like this game to do. Mm. For sure. Although maybe it's my bias against the first two games that's informing me of that. <laughs> Blow up, you bitch. Give me the shit inside you. Gib. Gib it! Gib it! Dude, that thing that got featured from that episode reminded me 
how good iCarly was. That one clip where uh, they're fucking captured by a stalker. Yeah. And Gibby just shows up and goes full on fucking anime on her ass. What? <laughs> and just kicks her ass. <laughs> like, literally just beats her the fuck up. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's brilliant. That's great. I love it. I did not know about that. Yeah. Also, I don't really follow the features anymore. There's fucking blood in that episode. Oh, shit. Like, Gibby gets, like, fucking rammed into a wall or something, and he, like, wipes his mouth and realizes he's bleeding, and then he fucking takes off his shirt and beats the shit out of her. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That show was ahead of its time. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> that show knew how to do comedy. And, like, <laughs> an actually surprisingly good plot line. Yeah. Alright, what do we got here? Not something oh, a gel editor oh. can help with, that's for sure. What you've got is a wall blocking your vision. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Go, oh, Minion Nancy. Except it's lame Minion Nancy because they don't stick around. Yeah. It's just a bunch of dudes, like, tackling them and then dying. Yeah, it's, it's basically just an auto-target gun at this point. Yeah. I feel like Ratchet 2 for all of its problems, had the fun, the most fun with Minion Nancy. Yeah. I think they bring it back a little bit, but I could be wrong on that. Then again, Speaking uh, of which, we Speaking can... of which, Mr. Zircon is Minion Nancy. Let's go. Sure, let's use a Mr. Zircon. Uh, do I have to... Oh, I have to press the fire button. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet now. Oh, Mr. Zircon is just going to town. Yeah, no, he's great. <laughs> oh, he even insults the enemies. Yes, that's why he's so great. <laughs> they fucking write new insults for him every fucking game he's in. <laughs> what is that, and how do I get it? Hmm. Well, clearly I gotta come back somehow. Yeah, this is the problem with, you know, certain games, where you can see the secret, but you don't know if you can get to it yet. And then yeah. when you go back for 100% completion, you realize you could have gotten to it from the very start. Oh. Can you do, like, the dash jump to, like, to uh, is that in this game? Oh, there we go. Is anything changing? Uh, I don't know. Apparently it was. It's lefty loose, right? And we've got a grenade launcher now. Is that what it is? Or it's an RPG of some sort? Oh, I think it might be a charge up rocket launcher or some shit. Ooh. Guess we'll find out. And there's the bridge we're supposed to cross. The bolt crank activated the bridge. I do so enjoy technology. <laughs> Why has he got to like laugh maniacally at that shit? Because that's just his laugh. He always sounds maniacal. <laughs> Even when he's just being normal. Well. I don't know what this is for. It looks like it's just an optional gun. Oh shit! Oh, that just insta-killed him in two shots. <laughs> Damn, son! Okay. Damn, son! It's a good option, apparently. Dang, good thing we took the time to figure that shit out. Yeah. Luckily, that's easy. Alright, so we need to double back. Yeah, I'm just checking to see if there's anything hidden behind here or some shit. Ah, uh -huh, see? Aha! Uh -huh. Video game secrets. And we got a Mr. Zircon. Oh good, we got our Mr. Zircon back. So this guy's just following you around. Yeah, he sticks around for a while. Yeah. I don't know if it's ammo based. It might be ammo based, which would explain why he's been here so long. Mm -hmm. Instead of time based. Ha! Psych! Mr. Zircon! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> that way I'm just supposed to go. This is taking too long. 
just fucking Sparta oh. kicked that guy into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love this Dude, gun, it's great. Can somebody say overkill? Yeah, this shit is actually great. I sure hope this doesn't end up like another one of those Devastator guns where it becomes the only gun you can use later on. That's a good point. And I hope you're right. Or I hope you're not right? I don't know. I said I hope it doesn't become. Whichever option becomes not this. Well, I, it's not being right or wrong. It's, <laughs> it's whether I hope what happens. And I hope that the rest of the guns can remain viable against this thing. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. There's only four shots, that's why. Yeah. And I don't think... But th that said, this is... Oh, I'm uh, an idiot. <sighs> I saw that coming. I just uh, couldn't do anything about it. That said, this gun is also at minimum upgrades. Yeah, that's true. Let's, uh... Alpha Disruptor. Well, first things first, we need to move towards this hidden upgrade, right? Or we could just max out the damage. Take the safety on, uh, oh, these are expensive. Oh, shit. The upgrades for this one are expensive. Yeah, the hidden one's right there, and on either side of it are bolt upgrades, so yeah, we should definitely mm -hmm. head towards that. There's yeah. also a bolt upgrade over here. Alright, so I want to see the description on this thing. On what thing? The Alpha Disruptor. No, the, like, flavor text. Oh. This Lombax engineered weapon fires a quantum burst of isokinetic energy capable of destroying almost any unfriendly vessel. Damn. Lombaxes knew how to fucking fuck shit up. Damn. Lombaxes ain't fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, though. And the best part is you can charge it up and then hold it for as long as you want. It destroyed all of them. In one shot? Yeah. What the fuck? I was gonna say, the best thing uh, is that you can charge it up and then hold it so mm -hmm. that you don't, like, have to time the shot yeah. to take them out. I'm trying to get in the cutscene. Oh, I almost did. Oh. I also almost died, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and there's more ammo for it. Alright. Did I already go this way? I mean, I know I died, but, like, do I have to go here? I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we'll figure it out, right? Oh, this is where I got the thing. Yeah. No! Okay. <laughs> Shit. Why did that one feel like it went way farther than the last time? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh... I think I crossed the bridge last time, right? I... I'm not... I can't remember. So I'm pretty sure I don't go across the bridge this time. I go over here. Yeah, this makes this looks newer. This looks like the direction I was going when I died. Okay. Yeah, because this is where Mr. Zircon died. Yeah. Speaking of which. Uh, where's the bullshit? There's the bullshit. The BS gun. Yeah, did I just throw... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love Mr. Zircon. <laughs> He's very funny and sassy. Yeah. Because I don't want to deal with the... Okay. I thought if these guys would die in a reasonable amount of hits. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's where I fell in a pit last time. Mm-hmm. Hello. What? Oh, okay. I guess this makes sense. Okay. Can the electricity pass through the walls? Yes. But I cannot. Okay. 
Uh, okay, that's not too hard. The um. The um. This is actually kind of an interesting puzzle. Sure. I wish it wasn't motion, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it was just like a control stick, it would be like perfectly neat. Yeah. Oh, that was a thing there. Come Ooh. on, it's right this way. <laughs> oh, it's you two. Almost oh, didn't this guy recognize again. you in high def. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're just huh. in time. I'm about to try out my revolutionary high-speed intraplanetary transportation gizmo. <laughs> I take it you was expecting something else. Something capable of vaporizing an entire planet of whatchamacallits? Cragmites. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but it don't exist. Uh, what? Friend, I've been everywhere in this universe and beyond. Believe me, there's no device like that. That don't mean what you're looking for right there. What? Say, do you happen to need a three and three quarters cubic hexagonal washer? I seem to have a spare. There you go, just in case. <laughs> Well, good luck, friend. Flushes him down what in an interdimensional toilet. I am starting to wonder if the Cragmites were ever vaporized at all. Perhaps they were just moved. Roger. Clank, where have you two been? I need you at the arena. Chop, chop. I think I may have found another C-L-E-U-W-4. Ugh. What in God's name? <laughs> what in God's name leads you to believe there's a number in that word? <laughs> I am worried Maybe about he's just Avenger. like counting she out how many letters trouble. there are Look, in the word. She's got those two war I, protecting Yeah, I think he's just really, really stupid. Wants, and we'll meet up with her later. Okay. Uh, I I'm getting the feeling that he's uh, just being flanderized at this point, <laughs> where he started out being like kind of dumb. But still being a character, and now his entire character is that he's dumb. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yes, but I feel like his entire character was that he was dumb, like, by the second game. Well, but in the second game, he actually, he was pretty close to taking over the galaxy. Oh, no, yeah, okay, third game, sorry. The first one where he's not the villain. Yeah. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing at this point. What is any of this? What am I looking at? <laughs> I guess you just got stepped on. Not that, apparently. Is this a dinosaur? Yeah, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Whatever's going on here, I'm not having it. I'm going back to that pad. Now I'm gonna press the button and go wherever it takes me. And hope that that gets me out of this fucking level. Uh, okay. Uh, it did not give me directions like there, it usually does. Yeah, there's no, like... There's no rings. Rings. So I guess I'm, I'm just How do you chilling. know where you're supposed to be going if there's no Superman wings? I know, right? What is this open world bullshit in my fucking AAA linear game? Heh. <laughs> Seriously, though, where the hell am I actually supposed to be going? I don't know, man. Does this go forever? Can I just do this? this I actually, guess so. It's actually kind of neat. I just wish there was literally anything telling me what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I wish there was, like, some purpose to all this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I guess you're supposed to farm Leviathan Souls here. I mean, okay, but he's not paying nearly enough to go farm. Yeah. That's the end point there. Yeah, but it doesn't, like, suck me in like I usually do. Hmm. Uh, this is a fast way to find my ship, though, which is why I'm still doing it. Mm. Trying to see if I can find my ship. Well, I mean, that's the edge of the map. Well, I mean, if you want to find the, your ship, I saw where it was just a minute ago. You did? Where? It's near that lighthouse. Because I think I'm able to leave this level now. What lighthouse? Uh, three o'clock. Ah. Right there. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I'm able to leave this level now. Yeah. So. Uh. What if you just, like, crash into the ground? 
I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to find out, but I also wanted to know what the button to stop was. And I figured that was more important. So All right. I, I did that. <laughs> Which button is it? It's triangle. Okay. Okay. Planet Moo Cow. Moo Cow. <laughs> Here you go. All Welcome right. Welcome to Planet Moo Cow. It's time that to level was actually kind of fun. Sure. It looks pretty fun. Which means by the law of equivalent exchange, this one has to suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it's an arena level, so it can't suck too much. Oh, yeah. Okay. It might be a little uninteresting, but it won't be bad. Yeah. The famous last words. <laughs> Just watch it be filled with, like, the world's least fun enemies in the entire world. <laughs> oh, man, I just got a text. Jacob's on his way. Oh, boy. <laughs> when's, when's that guy gonna get here? I don't know, man. He's, like, two hours late. Damn. I hear that he's a really shifty guy. <laughs> <laughs> And the rest of these are just notifications that people like my memes, so I can just ignore it. Okay. So, right. I, oh, they're not just gonna let me enter. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Fine, I'll do it myself. Uh, force field. You must find all six imperial statues. <clears throat> Fuck off. <laughs> I just want to play damn game. This the Zircon's for sale. Factory sealed. Now with premium personality modulators. <laughs> we need those guys. They're great. That said, they cost 5,000 bolts, so we shouldn't overuse them. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so we need six of these statues to advance. We've already got four, I guess. Oh no, or it was counting down? I don't know. I don't know. It said four out of six. I don't know if it meant to do it. Because, like, we've been here, right? Yeah, so we might have gotten some before. That's like, probably accidentally. what happened. Accidentally. That's probably what happened. Remember, you can just leap out there. Yeah, okay. That's all it is, Miles. Leave the faith. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd play the meme, but again, you know, minimizing editing. It's not worth minimizing it. editing and avoiding how many different companies we can get copyright strikes <laughs> from. Yeah, we're only allowed one per series, and it's the game that we're playing <laughs> because that's where, that's the most appropriate place for our copyright budget to go. Yeah. This guy freaks me out. Okay, apparently I can't fight this guy. He's a fucking living waffle iron. Try using literally anything but the whip. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, I guess it's just the whip that does not affect it. I was gonna say, because like, the whip is like an electric thing, and he seems to have like mm -hmm. electric waffle irons on his hands. So okay, like... so I guess if it's made of electricity, then you can't fight it. With electricity. Yeah. It's gotten to a point where we can just ignore the fucking reticle. Like Yeah, kind of. Like we know where it shoots. Like you just the reticle have, does not tell us. Like you have to believe where it shoots in your heart. You just <laughs> have to believe. That's well put, I like that. <laughs> Uh, the um. <laughs> That's still a good meme. It's been it, so it long. It still holds up. Still holds up. Right. Is there anything in here? One of my favorite memes is still the. This is where I put my bottom text. <laughs> <laughs> That's still one of my. If favorite I memes. had money. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> fucking meme. I love that type of weird meta commentary on its own format type of meme. <laughs> I don't know if we're going where we're supposed to be going, but it feels I like we're doing something. Uh, it certainly feels like we're making progress. I don't know if that progress is in the correct direction, but... Um, it definitely well, this feels is, like something. This is where, like, that corner up there is where the arena is, right? Uh, probably. 
So then we should try to get closer to there, right? Well, we're not going to the arena, I don't think. We're trying to, like, break into his facility, aren't we? It looks like we've already been to the arena. Uh, I mean, if you look at the map again, it says... Uh, come on. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. And, like, all that lit up area is where we've been. Yeah. The bottom section is where we haven't, but we need those yeah. things to get in there. Okay. So maybe we just need to explore more of the... How many of those like, statues do you have? Four out of six, it said. Oh. Uh, hmm. Alright, well. Gotta be somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's try. Where's down? You're going to leave. Yeah, now you're over near where the, the place is. Yeah. Maybe the statue's there somewhere? I don't think they are. I feel like they're going to be back in the starting area. Uh, yeah, but there's no way for me to teleport back now. <laughs> We're already in this. We're in too deep. I think you, I might just be wasting time. I think you are. That said, there's nothing I can do now. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no way to, like, exit level. Well, just run then. Just ignore all the enemies all and right. see if you can just get to the... Uh, see if you can just get to the, uh, whatever you call it. Yeah. The Coliseum, so that mm -hmm. we can just go. I mean, if, if nothing else, you're firing bolts, so... Yeah. So uh, at least something will be being done. Yeah, even if it's not really that helpful. <laughs> it's something. Sure. And no one can take that away from you. God damn it. I knew that was going to happen beforehand <laughs> and I still did it. Yeah. I wanna add like the first episode the first four episodes of SAO Bridge to the uh classics playlist. Mm-hmm. Because we reference that a lot. But also, I try not to add episodic things to the mm -hmm. to the classics. Because they're supposed to be like standalone videos. Yeah, but I think the first episode at least of SAO Bridge yeah. stands for itself. It's it's at least the first two, because the second one is the one with the boss fight in it. Yeah. Which also has uh but you make all the Tiffany. And uh <laughs> the I'd like to hear more about this final solution. And, like, all of those references yeah, are yeah. from that episode. Mm -hmm. And then I think the third one has some really good ones, too. And the fourth one, I think, is the one with, uh, you don't have to ask where your god is anymore. Which means it's, like, four full episodes of that shit that, yeah. that we reference all the time. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if I add one, I have to add all four of them. Because I'm missing out on, like, 90% of the reason I'm adding it in the first place. Yeah. Let's see. Do you have more armor? No. Around the time when they had that joke about uh, Asuna being, like, uh, sort of a thinly veiled racist. Around the time what? when that joke started is when I thought the show started to go downhill. Okay. Like, it just wasn't as funny anymore. Like, it's still kind of funny, but, eh, that joke kind of didn't land for me. Eh, I don't remember too much of it. Okay. I don't know how much of it you... <laughs> what is this? That's wrong, I can already tell you. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> you must have to go at a diagonal or something, because there's no other way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shut up, game. Can I... Come on. No, apparently not. <laughs> I like how I got all the easy sauce bullshit, and then you just walk into this. What is this garbage? <laughs> just oh. immediately, there's a clusterfuck of a puzzle. Oh, I get it. I get it. Do you? No. <laughs> oh shit! No, you're right. And you, you, I think it wants me to like roll across the two of these really quick, but I don't know how I would do that. Fucking what the hell, dude? Because it would require me to be in both of these places at once, right? Yeah. I don't see this puzzle being possible. I don't. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. One. Are you sure you can't get it at a diagonal? Uh, 
I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I don't think it's fucking possible. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Come on, man. What is this? Come on. Please. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bigger ball. This is way funnier than it should be. Would you like to use L instead of... <laughs> you can just shut off the six axes bullshit. Sure. No, the answer is no. It's not better? It's no, the answer is no. It's It straight up will not let you. So, how the I fuck am, do you do I, this, I, this is how close I am to losing my shit right now. <laughs> 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 Jeez. This is how close I am. <laughs> to losing my fucking shit. <laughs> Do you want me to try this? Sure. I have no idea how to do it, but I might. I I want to find out. Okay. Maybe you maybe you'll see something that I just can't. How? How? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I can make it go backwards somehow. Well. I got it to loop. Okay. I guess you're in an uh, endless loop now. Huh. No. Okay. Alright, so let's let's take a look at this thing, right? I can't. It won't let you pause. There's no way to do this! No, it's just impossible. Unless... No. Nope. Unless there's like some upgrade for this later that lets oh, you- Oh, I'm a fucking idiot, look. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did we never think of this? <laughs> <laughs> wow! It took us this long. Wow, I don't know where to go from here, but it- It doesn't matter. Up? It has to be up, because that's a dead end. And then left? Uh, yeah. This is a long one, I guess. Yeah, I guess they just want you to take the circuitous route. I can't believe that shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Welcome to looking like a fucking idiot on the internet. <laughs> well, we learned something. That... Uh, we are not to be trusted. With circuitry? Yes. Mm. It's a good thing I didn't take electrical engineering. <laughs> cool. Glad that's over with. Get me the fuck out of here, man! I gotta get out of here! <laughs> I gotta get out of here! Alright. Oh, here you go. Alright. <laughs> I can't believe that shit, dude! <laughs> that was some like, shit. We were staring at this for so long. I know. Well, it's like, because you have to make a decision right away. Yeah. So we don't have time to look at it and think about it. Yeah, you just have to do it. Yeah. And we just did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Every e time. Every fucking time. Yeah. Oh, this was just for a gold bowl. Hey, gold bolts. Uh, we need those to unlock mus uh, mustachio. I thought you were going to say mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. <laughs> and like, why would we want to unlock mosquitoes? Flood the world <laughs> with blood-eating insects. <laughs> the lombax shall die. Okay. That was a shitty. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so where haven't we been? But it was, in fact, a haiku. Yes. Okay, we're back to that starting area where I said I was pretty sure they're going to be hidden all around here. Yeah, so the question is, are they, in fact, hidden all around here? How did we even get back here? Uh, the path just looped. Oh, uh, okay. It 
gave us one of those like tabs that let you go back to the beginning oh, of the level. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So now I'm like, all right, let's see if we can try figure... going down in that that way. Is that is that where you went before? Yeah, this is the start of the level. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, obviously it's not here. Uh, huh. Oh, there's one up there. Well, that's that's good. That means we're only missing one more. Yeah, five And that also six. does mean that they probably are in this area. Yeah. If that one was, too. Mm hmm Huh. Uh, could it be over here? It's possible. It's certainly an option. I feel like I don't know which ones we've got, so... Yeah. If we, because it lets you collect some of them like from the get-go, right? Yeah. I think we theoretically could have collected all of them. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything on top of that statue, so it should be good here. Ah, uh, yes, the cube statue. So let's see. We know that there's nothing beyond there. Yep. Probably not. Did that grass just grow in front? <laughs> I don't think it'll be up here either, but it's worth a try. I mean, it, logic would state that it could be up here. No, this is where you went, I think. Because... I remember this place. Yeah, this is where we just were. But it would, right. it would make Go sense, back. though. If it were here. Huh. Because we just got the unlock to get here. So right. it would make sense if they did put it here. Did we not so get that one we can't from up here? That's weird. Oh no, this is where we got the gold pole. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, I'm just crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna keep fucking reading his haiku until Damn. we figure this out. Fuck. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, man. Yeah. Welcome to the slow part of the night. It's weird that we come on. hit the slow part right as we fucking, uh... Oh, r right after the, the dumbass thing we did with the fucking thing. Do the... Okay, yeah, you got it. There we go. Alright, we found it. That was only slightly painful. Fuck you, tachyon particles. Trail of Tears? What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Did somebody say War Crimes? <laughs> Marcus War Crimes Miles? <laughs> What's Marcus's voice again? Uh, it's uh, kind of like really nasally and squeaky. Marcus Miles! Kind of like that? Yeah. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Those are swing things, you just gotta jump on them. Time to get into the sling of things. This is a nice, uh, ride. Sure. A carnival ride. And there's even, like, children's screams. <laughs> Although it is possible <laughs> that's not the carnival rides making this sound. This is the carnival rides are torturing. Right? Yeah. Just fucking, uh... <laughs> Tachyon's murder, child murder facility yeah. directly below this. Just <laughs> hidden. Dang it. It's always the really bad ergonomic design. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a thing. Geronimo! I require. Acquire money. What is this? A big shard of something? Big shard of shark? A big shard of something? Yeah. I don't know what I just acquired, but I, I'm pretty sure it was important. Probably. Uh, was that floating for a second? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, you're, you're not crazy. <laughs> it's straight up pull the Minecraft for like half a second. <laughs> pull the Minecraft. What do you think of Steve and Smash? I think Steve was a mistake. <laughs> like in its entirety? Yes. There's basically nothing that you can do to make Steve a character that works in the same way that the other characters work in Smash. Yeah? Because he just functions in, on a fundamentally different wavelength than the other characters. <laughs> And I don't say that in a good way. I say that in a very bad way. <laughs> except one, accepting your death. Right, am I back where I started? I no. Wait, yes. That's the swing thing. Oh, no, it's not, because we didn't get these. Okay. It's just another swing thing. Can I, like, move around here? Oh. I don't know, I feel like their their designs have been getting more and more psychotic as time has gone on. <laughs> you know? Like for Smash? Yeah. They've just gotten weirder and weirder. Ooh. Bonus bolts. Like how so? Um like designs for Smash used to be like uh uh I'm Link, so I use like a bow and arrow. Mm-hmm. And now Designs are like, I'm inkling, so I have to have a mechanic for how much ink I store, and special buttons that you press when you crouch and shield to fucking regen that, and I have a limited amount of it, and everything uses from that resource, or like, oh, I'm Hero, and I have 57 fucking alternate accounts, <laughs> <laughs> or like, oh, nice, another gold bolt. We're yeah. one step closer to, closer to Mustachio. Nice. Or like... I'm Steve, and now I have a fucking inventory. Well, yeah, but I think if you're counting chronologically, then, you know, it doesn't always line up. Because... I mean, Byleth, they're not... Byleth was, there's still some simple designs, it's just... Like, Byleth, for example, as is a, whole. a relatively simple design concept. Yeah, Byleth um, isn't that weird. But also, Byleth is boring and lame. Yeah, and has super armor on half her specials. Yeah. Which is obnoxious, but it's at least not complicated. I mean, yeah. But, like, as, like, a whole, though, like, in general, you know? Mm-hmm. Not every concept is weirder. I will say that a lot of the characters they introduced in Smash Ultimate have been very weird. Yeah, that's what it's I'm just, saying. It, it's just that it started with Smash Ultimate, and it's kind of been, like, consistently... Yeah, but the DLC of, has been increasingly weird. I don't like, know. the DLC is weirder than the characters they, they, uh, had at launch. What's that? The DLC is weirder compared to the characters at launch. You know? Yeah, definitely. They are, I will say, exploring design, uh, space, shall we say. To yeah. Put, to put things nicely. It's like Terry. Terry is also fucking weird. Like, I mean, oh, we've got a separate mechanic now for, like, auto turnaround because it's a fighting game, so it has to have fighting game mechanics. Like, at first, it was just like, alright, let's take the spirit of the character and some moves that look similar mm -hmm. to them. And yeah. now it's like, alright, we have to completely adapt the fucking gameplay of this into Smash. I guess. Also, I just collected something and I don't know what it is. Also, I must say, while it does not fit my argument of things becoming increasingly weird, I do have to say, I fucking hate the arms chick. Oh, Min Min or whatever? Yeah, no. Fuck that. Why? What, Get rid of her. What's wrong with her? Her smash attacks have fucking ranged to rival the fucking me gunner bullshit. God damn it. And then she can just, like, extend her arms and fucking diddle you. From like a million miles away. Ugh. Why did you have to say it that way? <laughs> and then she can switch out her hands for guns, so that if she can't reach you with her diddling fingers, she can reach you with fucking lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that chart. I just hate how much reach she has. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. I'm just saying it in a really weird way because I'm in that third stage already somehow. All right. So we have. <laughs> 
So I'm trying to figure out which of these boots. It's the we charge just boots because we didn't have those before. That's the shit that makes you go fast. That should contain rocket boosters that can be fired by double tapping R2. Yeah, that's the that's the shit that go fast. Did you just turn them off? I think, or I don't know, because I roll over <laughs> one and I can press X to turn it off. But then when you roll over it again, it's on again. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm actually <laughs> changing anything. I don't think you are. I don't know why that's happening. That's kind of funny. Yeah, because I can switch between the helipack and the thruster. That makes sense. And I... Oh. The robo-wings? Does that mean the robo-wings are just always on now? I kind of want to see. I, it, I'm curious. Let's though. try it. Back out of here. Yeah, it's just always on. Nice. Try doing a, like, a big jump, a tall jump. Or that. Oh, you can just turn them on? Like, it doesn't actually change anything, they just look kind of neat. No, it's the same as, like, the rocket boost, I guess. That's weird. I would have been cool All if right, they added yeah. a... It would have been cool if they added a new animation set for the Rubble yeah. Wings. But I guess this is nice, too. I mean, it looks kind of neat. Try, like, uh, jumping and gliding. Nah, it doesn't really change anything. Yeah, I guess it's a new... They do extend. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a nice aesthetic change, if nothing else. Yeah. Something new to look at than the same, uh, like, rocket clank for the last three games. Yeah, that's true. So sure, I'll take it. Even if it effectively changes nothing mechanically. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first two didn't change anything mechanically either. Stuff. Well, the rocket pack is actually a little faster. Oh, really? Yeah, if you use the helic pack, you'll notice it's kind of sluggish on the the boosts. You know, I want to find out. I want to just test this out real quick. Yeah. Because I uh, like dip dirtily. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I hate dirtling. That's an M. M. It's -a me, Mario. Yeah, definitely the. Th aside from that one thing. Yeah. So definitely helipack, B tier, thruster and robo wings A tier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although you could get through the game with either of them for sure. Ratchet and Clank gadget tier list. So okay, we did that. Why did we do this? Do, uh, did we really need the the super thruster for anything? Maybe. Hang on, go to your ship. Because I'm pretty sure we were supposed to be here. I believe you're right. But go to your ship. And like, go to the like uh, world. So I'm pretty thing. sure we're supposed to be here for Quark, right? Yeah. Uh, how, yeah, do we, how do we see the objectives again? Uh, I guess which. Oh no! That, sorry, that was not from your ship. It's in the it's in the pause menu. I think. Uh, just hit back. Just, just back. Yeah. Blast off! But you're already on the planet, so it just backs you up. Yeah. Okay. So pause. Uh. uh or the map screen? Mission. Oh, okay. Here we go. Fight for cash prizes. All right. That's it. Go to the map screen. Uh. Let me see it. <laughs> okay, fine. Because I think we, it just wants us to do these exhibition matches. Does it not have objectives on here? No. They changed that, didn't they? Yeah, they did. That's why I was confused. Yeah. Okay. They used to have the objectives on mm -hmm. the map screen. I thought this one had that, where it told you when you hovered over shit. No. I Unless I'm missing something. I could have sworn it was somewhere. I'm just gonna do the same fucking thing again and realize I'm wrong, but it's fine. Uh, I mean, this is the one that's fucking lit up, so... Yeah. Nope, nope. Oops, where the fuck did I go? Alright. 
That's weird. Yeah, because this game has had, you know, missions for a while. Yeah, this one's been, objectives. like... It's been pretty clear from the start. It's weird now that it suddenly isn't. Yeah. Where does this bring you? Does this bring you that, to the Coliseum? Yeah, that just brings you right to the Coliseum. I think you're just supposed to actually fight for cash prizes. Yeah. Because that's the only shit that it's saying. I mean, that was what I was going to do. Just because. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's just weird. It's... The, the objective has been pretty clear thus far. Because Quark's like, hey, I've got a secret to tell you. Oh, he, he probably needs you to win something so that he can come out and to give you the prize and then be like, hey, Tachyon's got a secret fucking supply of booze and women hidden in his backyard. You better fucking raid that shit. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they know something about his private life. Or maybe Tachyon secretly is holding Angela as like a, like, we fucked up slave in his backyard. <laughs> I was like, where is this going? <laughs> you know where this is going. Blake, you know where I was going with that. I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, check the Alpha Disruptor. That's the shit that's really yeah, This is the one we're supposed to... Okay! That just there's only instantly one. It just gives means you, there's no damage upgrade. No, look, it just instantly goes you from zero to maximum on the ammo. Yeah, the, oh, ammo. It just means that's the only ammo upgrade. Yeah, so do we want to, like, improve damage or ammo? It doesn't matter. We're, we need to get all of the stuff eventually. Yeah. So all right, one fine. of the two. Let's just do this. Yeah, its damage is pretty goddamn god tier at this point. Mm -hmm. So ammo is, I guess, probably best because it, you know. Okay. Oh, but it only increased our cartridge from four to five. Eh, whatever. I mean, fine. Fine. Fine, I'll take it. They're gonna give us a broken-ass weapon. Its upgrades are gonna be shit, I see. Yeah, I guess it's just... Okay, I'm already getting shot by some, like, jet fuel. <laughs> jet fuel can definitely melt Lombaxes. Yeah. Steel beam's not a shit. Uh, the jury's still out on steel beams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think what is the think? What do you think is the most insane conspiracy theory? Uh, that the moon isn't real and it's just a projection into the sky. Okay, you're right. Fair enough. I've heard that shit. You had that answer fucking ready. <laughs> Locked and loaded. <laughs> like you were waiting for me to ask that question. No, it's just that I know that it's just an incredibly hilarious meme. Yeah. Of a, you believe in the moon? <laughs> you fuckers believe in the moon? <laughs> the moon landing was fake. You still believe in the moon? You, you, you fucking sheep will believe in the moon still? What a bunch Come of on. chumps. Get your head together. Get your head in the game. Open your eyes, people. Yeah. They're just continuing this bombing, dudes. Luckily, it seems that the spawners seem to mostly be the ones that you can see. So whenever they spawn more enemies, they don't, like, spawn them behind you. That's fair. Yeah, so I think that's a nice piece of, like, forgiving design. Yeah, that's that, pretty nice. That they could have chosen to just spawn dudes behind you and be an ass crack, but whenever they have the option, they're going to have the spawners spawn dudes in mm. front of you where you can see them. I didn't notice that, but that's actually really cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. I definitely have something to say, but I don't know what it was. Oh, well. That is some good game design. Yeah, yeah. I, I they're, like, they're getting I like, their shit together. I like that they did that. Yeah. They're starting to figure it out. Like, it... Okay. Oh, what is this? Dude? This is the first game, I think, in the series that we've actually been able to point out subtle game design tricks, as opposed to the very obvious things they should be doing. Yeah. What is this static shock motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that show was the shit. How am I supposed to avoid this shit? I don't know. Because all of the t the three attacks he's done Look at so all those far. Fucking blades. Yeah. How am I supposed to avoid this? Okay. Yeah, that I, one you I just jump. You could just jump and blade. Yeah. I just wasn't jumping precisely. That was just like uh, Nefarious' attack in the last game. Yeah. Okay, that was cutting it a little close. Look at all those fucking blades, Jesus. Yeah, I'm like good grief. 
Alright, let's do the fuck you. Go. Okay. I bought the thing that makes it charge up faster, so it actually, that's already fully charged right there. Yeah, look, this is just melting his HP. Yeah, but we're all out. So. But we're all out. Luckily, it took half of his health bar with him, so. Yeah, that's it was, true. It was worth it. And do you still have a, a basic bitch blaster? Yeah, sure. Okay, how do I avoid this tornado other than hitting? Uh, maybe try just turning around and dashing away. I guess. Like, maybe just stop shooting him during that segment. Just go for the dodge. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that, like, six months ago, the government basically confirmed accidentally that aliens existed? And we're just not gonna talk about and, that. And, like, thing. nobody ever brought it up ever again. Yeah, people brought up the fact that people were making. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> okay, insta kill ground. What were uh, you trying to say? People brought up the fact that... Put people brought up the fact that nobody was talking about it. But not a lot of people were actually talking about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Ironic. Okay, so, <laughs> yep. Okay, so they're just warping me straight to the fight. That's good. That's good. Now that I know what I'm doing, I should have not too much trouble with this. Whoa, a lucky shot from Mustachio. Let's see what he does next. Mustachio. <laughs> Oh, that's right. We're canonically Mustachio during this thing. Yes. Because the game needs to have a Colosseum fight, uh, despite... The fact that we're outlaws? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that shit. You saw me do whatever I could. I saw you dash forward and then dash up. And the dash forward worked and the dash up did not. Okay, I guess that works. Yeah, throw out a Zircon. Oh, it even knocks him out of his attack. That's pretty ridiculous. Doesn't knock him out of that attack. Yeah, I guess not. Jesus, Mr. Zircon. Yeah, he's just going ham. <laughs> Have some mercy. There is no mercy. Zap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that one meme of the... It's a drawing of a guy. It's Well, it's a cartoon. Like a comic page, uh, and he just looks really, really pained, and he just says, "Yeah." <laughs> What's that fucking mean? Uh, What's I the don't original know. context of that? I don't. Know. I'll try to find it. I will probably not. Also, I'm curious what yeah.com is, only because I accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, duck. Alright. I'm out of that. Um, let's see if the Groovatron works on this guy. It does! <laughs> Wait, I want to see it. What is it doing to him? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> He's just going ham. This would be a good time to use the active. There's no way I'm finding where this fucking meme comes from. Trying to find any memes on Google sucks. Because I don't know what it is, but iFunny is the only source I am aware of that has actually, like, up to date, relevant memes. Hmm. Okay. And if you just go to Google and look for a meme, you find the dumbest, most cringy-worthy, cringe-worthy shit in the world. Oh yeah. 
absolutely. I'm not even gonna disagree with you on that shit. Uh, can I finally get rid of this guy's last shard of health? Please. I'm literally going to send this meme to the group chat because it's that bad. Oops, I don't want to download a link. I want to download an actual link. Okay, I finally did it. I want a hollow pirate disguise. Nice. That I must be something. I thought that he was clipping through the floor for a second. <laughs> I thought it might be a clue. Why are you raiding his underwear drawer? <laughs> <laughs> the real questions. <laughs> Speaking of conspiracy theories. Well, shit. Yes, we're going there. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there is some math to be done here, but it will not be me to do it. <laughs> oh, have we seen that guy before? He looks familiar. Yeah, that was the pirate guy. So apparently, this supercomputer that knows everything is in pirate territory. But oh yeah, we did already deal with the pirates. But yeah, but we pissed off all the pirates, and now the pirates are guarding that supercomputer. <laughs> yeah. See, I knew who that guy was. But I wasn't sure if we were supposed to know who he was yet. No, I think we were supposed to. Yeah, okay, I remember Captain Slide. This is not the time of vanity. It's the time to show the universe how amazingly awesome I am. I'm so wretched. He's not just stupid, he's also self-absorbed. <laughs> he has two character traits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Dead last, yeah, fuck you, I don't want to do this shit. Yeah, fuck any of that. Get hit even once and you fail. Yeah, no. I'm not good enough for this. I admit defeat, game. <laughs> <laughs> you win. We're gone. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Look at that little thing in your hand, it's funny looking. Yeah, it's the buzz blades. <laughs> it's just spinning. <laughs> I didn't even take the time to look at what the guns actually look like. Yeah, apparently they're actually designed. Like, pretty interestingly, too. Yeah. It's just that when you fire the buzz blades, it just creates a complete clusterfuck <laughs> on the screen. Yeah. The buzz blades are pretty good. Yeah. They're pretty funny. I like them. I'm glad the this gun exists. I've always liked the buzz blades. Even in the former games, when they weren't as good. Well, yeah, but the when they were shurikens, they were still good. Eh. All right. I don't know. I feel like they definitely jumped up in the hierarchy in this game. Yeah. All right. Let's blow this joint, and then let's get up, and then let's get onto the next place. Yeah, whatever. What? It's a... You cut me off when I was making a stupid joke. Oh, I was making it another dumb joke that was I, a reference to Cowboy Bebop because uh, you said let's blow this joint. I, I was gonna say let's <laughs> blow this joint and then let's get onto the next planet. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Iris. Iris supercomputer. Isis supercomputer. Yes, Isis is secretly taking over <laughs> the uh, fucking uh, Silicon it, Valley. It's secretly taking over the International Space Station. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need to take it back. Nice. To Iris, we must find a way to sneak through. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's good. Nice little visual guy. <laughs> These are the touches that make Ratchet and Clank unique. Can we, uh, can we? Thanks. That's not a thing I can destroy. Very well. Very well. 
Alright, Chief. What the fuck? What? I don't know. Oh, that's damage I'm looking at. I was wondering what that stat was I was looking at. Also, we're nowhere. Fine. Yeah, the Alpha Disruptor just has. is like the end game of, like, Money Six. I think we already have all these. Oh. Oh, we use the Groovatron. And the Zircon. But let's be honest, that Groovatron was well worth it. Yeah, no, agreed. Groovatrons on bosses are always worth it. Yes. Perhaps it is time to try out our new hollow pilot disguise. Oh right. Yeah, because we have that. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Hollow fire. So apparently you just turn into clay. But where did Ratchet go? I don't know. Or is it... Oh, damn it. I can't blow that up. Damn it. I wonder if you could, like, if you chose, like, fucking flight Is this gonna fucking... You can, but that door will kick you out. Okay. Okay, good. Oh my god. Cl clipping. Look at this. Look at this. I can't fucking get up the hill. Welcome to clipping. I literally can't get up this fucking slope. <laughs> there. It's alright. They thought of this. Apparently. Only a true pirate may pass. Dance the jig and prove your worth. What? Start dancing. <laughs> what? What? Follow the moves of the backup dancers. <laughs> uh. Do you like? Do you What? No land lover could match that. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, this is clearly an area with a lot of loot. I gotta turn into a regular ratchet. I mean, clearly they were going to deliver some pretty cool uh, backstory, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. I didn't consider that. Did I hear him say Fortnite? This came out before Fortnite. I know, but... It Look, still causes I'm, me pain retroactively. I'm not going to let Fortnite steal the word Fortnite from <laughs> us. It does not deserve to have monopoly over the word Fortnite. Because it's a cool fucking word. Even if it's now it's connotated with a really mediocre game. Oh, well, this was undoable without trying to interrupt it anyway. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Taste saws. <laughs> what if you were just chillaxing, working your day job, mm -hmm. and a fucking cat man showed up and started shooting fucking buzz saws at you? <laughs> you wouldn't be having a very nice day. Yes, the Velden Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> 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 Alright, where are we going from here? Can you get into that turret? I think so, but I don't think I'm supposed to use it. I mean, I guess I might. Maybe you just need to blow up on a wall or something. Maybe this is the wall I need to blow up on or some shit. Nah. See, I don't think this does anything. Yeah, I don't think uh, it's... Oh. I guess not. It looks like I'm supposed to get it there or some shit, but... Oh, there's oh. literally a grinder up there. Well... I'm oh. just blind. Uh huh. Now, since he's a robot, is that a, like a sexual innuendo? Yeah, I think that was, uh. I think that's legally defined as sexual harassment. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare, dude. Yeah, dude. Just chains, just buzzsaws <laughs> everywhere. Mm hmm. Okay. Not cool. He fucking shot me while the cutscene was playing. Not cool, you yeah. little shit. Listen here, you little shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is the part where we need to use the get, thing that get we the only whip. use for this. Hey, the whip is actually pretty decent. I mean, I it guess. just has no range. Yeah, it does good damage. I'll give it that. It's not something I would opt to use under most circumstances. I I I get that. <laughs> Let's just matrix dodge this bullshit. Oh shit, they actually call out like what you're using. Huh. That's well, kind nice. Also, did that like not change in appearance at all? Correct. Just like, yeah, I'd upgrade it. Probably didn't what change did, in stats either. <laughs> what did you get? Nothing. Nothing! What did we win? Nothing! <laughs> What do we win? Nothing. When did we win it? Now. Okay, did he just surprise butt that sex That was a you? fucking mimic, apparently. He just got surprise butt sex. Back to the beginning. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that chest was a fucking enemy? Back to the beginning of the level, bitch. Yep. Get McFucked. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You know what my opinion of this level is? You know what my opinion of this level is? This is my opinion of this level. The impact of my statement is lessened slightly by the fact that this takes me a while because I have to walk. Never mind. The door's already open. Why am I doing this? Get, get out of here. This is my opinion of this level. Still have to screw the bolt. So they'll actually call you out for using the plasma boosts. Yeah. I guess that's nice. There should be an enemy that just calls you out for whatever you use, but like insults you for using it. Okay. Regardless of what it is. Just, oh, big man using the fucking Devastator. Oh my god. Oh. Why am I fighting these guys? I'll take this though. Yes. Help. Oh, when we knock off icicles, it actually gives you cash. Oh, that's what's causing that to happen. I was wondering about that. Shit. I can't just run past shit. I really wanted to. Yeah, you're already at half health. Plus, they're putting fucking bombs all over in my place. In my way, so I so if I try, I'll blow myself up. I can do it a little bit here. Nope. Uh. Uh. Why didn't it let me glide? What was with that Mario ass fucking side flip? I don't know. Alright. I I've had enough. We're running a special. I'm running through, you little bitch. Fucking die! How many bombs are you gonna survive? We got rope. Bombs. You want it? You got it, my friend. Rule as of thumb. As long as you have enough bones. <laughs> yeah. Rule of thumb. If it takes more uh, bombs than it took nukes uh, to China, to Japan to take you down, perhaps uh, that you're bad. You suck. <laughs> All right. You heard it from him, folks. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, anything more than two of those mini nukes, and your mo enemy has too much HP. Apparently, this is the only one that they call out. <laughs> I guess. Also, we upgraded that quite a few times within the last uh, few minutes here. Apparently so. I mean, I've just been spamming it, so. Yeah. And they seem to be dealing decent damage for the ammo cost. No one saw that. I definitely did not almost die right there. Yeah, you just straight up coyote timed your way back to success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope. Nope. Give me that ammo. The barrel of the cannon was shunting you out of the way of him being I able know. to aim at you. Bitch. 
Oh, it's an electric dude. He still fucking insta kills me. He dealt like 25 damage in one hit. I know. What is this horse shit? I don't know. Also, you should off. probably refill. Yeah. So, funny, yeah, I remember. You said it. If you ever consider opening that chest, you will just get butt fucked by an end game enemy. Yeah. You know, I think I've just decided I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna try to fight him. Yeah, because the rest of these enemies are fairly fightable. Yeah. The rest of these enemies are chump change. Mm hmm. And chumps typically don't have a lot of change on them. Mm hmm. So if, like, if they were a threat, I'd call them, like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, shopping center change. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. Or maybe, like, uh, cashier change. That's what the mimics are. Or maybe like uh, BLM change, because they're all about change. Ha. Ah. Hello and welcome to Politics Hour. Uh, my name is Steven Seagal. Uh, and this is my co host, John Lennon. <laughs> Uh, yes. John, what do you think of the politics currently in Azkaban? I think they all need to be incinerated in nuclear hellfire. Mm -hmm. Good solution. It will be one final solution to the problem. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what have I created? <laughs> this has been a mistake. I know one of you has a shield, so I'm fucking you all with this whip. That could be taken out of context. You're not allowed to exist. <laughs> Remember, don't touch the box. Yeah, just pretend it doesn't exist. Ah! Get me out of here! I need to get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> it chuckles. I am in danger. Little did they know, they were <laughs> seconds away from being brutally murdered. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have fun today. I had fun once, and the punishment is this. <laughs> right, because you killed the backup dancers, it's gonna be three times as hard, you know? Hmm. You look like a pirate, but can you dance the jig like one? Okay. <laughs> to your left, to the sky! To your left, to the sky! Do you want to the sky. And then they fucking blow up. Yeah. They weren't allowed to be brought back from the dead purely for that. <laughs> Why is this game so fucking weird? It just... It weirdly, uh, like, shoots back and forth. Between being super serious and really fucking weird. Yeah. It's kind of jarring, but also it's somewhat charming at the same time. Yeah, that's actually, that is really the charm of this series, to be honest. Uh, especially the future games. Because the future games have slightly... Oh, it's that dude that kept fucking your ass. Yeah, they just straight up do a point damage hit there. Uh, joke is on hold. I need to put the joke on hold to kill this fucker. <laughs> the joke is on hold till he gets put on ice. Yeah. But anyway, you were saying about the trauma of this game? I have no idea. You just got fucking clasped down to the waffle iron of death. Okay. Alright. This is fine. If that shit had put me at the beginning of the level, I would have fucking thrown this controller to the screen. <laughs> I don't know, I found that death really <laughs> weird because it just felt like the du the game just waffle ironed you into the abyss. It did, though. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
<sighs> well, at least it doesn't matter because of the fucking save points right here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I guess. i see if I can boost across all of them by doing. Never mind. Okay. You made the same exact mistake. I know I made a different mistake. This time I crouched. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. I thought I could do this shit because it lets me do it over that little ledge there. Yeah. Nope. Also, this is question: bad What are the cannons firing at? Not gameplay wise. This is bad design, logic wise, for the for the pirates. And I don't know. Are they at war with someone? They're at war with their own uh, idiot. Oh wait, sorry. This isn't the This is necessary. Get the BFG. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> like he even says, let's dance. Yeah. No, this shit's great. I love it. Oh, uh, what's that? It looks different. I don't like it. A tiny bomb. Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, it's a little larger, too. Explosion. Okay. Use the BFG, man. That thing melts everything. Fine. Yeah, I'll put this right here. There it is. Look at that shit. Look at you that. You have a health bar? Look ha, at jokes on you. Now you don't. Look at that ungodly amount of damage. Like holy shit. Yeah. And that was and, and that's it. This is an optional gun too. Yeah. Like holy crap. We just kind of found this shit somewhere. Yeah, we can't. We just found it. That makes it all of them crazy. That it just does that much damage. Yeah. Hey, did you find that thing? Hope you did. <laughs> Cause the game's about to be a whole lot harder. Be a lot cooler if you found it. You're gonna. You gonna. You. You. So long as it ain't breathing. Wait, so he's fine with me to be, like, unconscious and not breathing, but alive? I guess. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. They're just spawning in. Camp outside of the hellfire. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is use these saws, because they'll seem to get behind them. Mr. Zircon made also. Good point. I'm gonna die anyway, though. It's too late for me. Like I said, it's too late for me. Hmm. Why does this level have to suck so much? Alright, cheat. Alright, cheat. Alright. Alright, cheat, cheat. <laughs> R.I.P. You little bitch. Um. Yeah, I actually have a better idea. Just run through. I mean, there's nothing saying that you have to stay in play. No. Oh. This might be something saying that, but you know what? I can get behind him, at the very least. And use the turrets against them. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. That probably just fuck me over while I'm getting it. Yeah, it's free da free uh, damage without spending it. Yeah, but ammo really isn't that expensive in this game. Ammo's not as big a deal in this game yeah. as it was in the previous ones. I guess. Unless you're using like the BFG or the uh, Gravitron or Zircons. Yeah, the devices are definitely expensive as shit. Plasma Stalker? Did our I gotta go kill did our guy. Plasma Beasts just change in name to Plasma Stalkers? It may have when it went to level 5. Hmm. Alright, so... I definitely have to turn that crank, which means I definitely have to kill those bitches over there. Which um, means we need some way to get around the cannons. I'm thinking this might work now that I actually have health to survive while doing it. Yeah. Seems to do the trick. Those things that come out of the ground keep freaking me out. I know they're the plasma beasts, 
But I keep getting worried every time I see them. Well, I mean, we did actually... Oh, it's a dude. This is a fucking horror movie right here. <laughs> Get me out of here. Well, I mean, in the in the third game, you actually did fight ate some, like, sewer monsters that looked just like the plasma beasts. Really? So, so it's understandable why. I forgot about that. Oh, it's you again. Welcome to not having help. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the chop shop. Okay, that one fucking ricocheted. He's like, how do you like it, bitch? <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Damn. Damn! Damn, Damn boy! Way across. He's thick! Another way what? Another way? No, I'll just Nonsense. Die. <laughs> 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 I should not have done that, but it was kind of funny. No, I gotta deal with There's it. always another way. Yeah. Oh, fuck. They're back. And the crank is turn. Okay, I... Perhaps it is time for me to admit I have made a mistake. <laughs> Damn it! I really should not have done that. That was some memes right there, but it was not worth it. Yeah, you were doing so well until then. Die! It, Fuck you! It doesn't look like it is working as well as we had hoped. It kinda works, but like, not immediately, and it needs to work immediately, because these things kill me immediately. Yeah, the fact that it kind of works isn't enough. Whatever you use needs to just work. Dude. Are you really gonna do this? Yes. <laughs> I'll fucking beat you to death, you old death. I'll use another one if I have to. <laughs> Fuck oh, you! Dude. <laughs> Why? Because I've had enough of this shit. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Here it comes! <laughs> Geo is Yeah. I feel incredibly paranoid right now. <laughs> Yeah, because the dude's right behind you. <laughs> okay, what is this? What do I have to deal with this time? Regular dudes? I can deal with that. Regular dudes can be dope. God, you have a lot of they can be damaged in a reasonable fashion. They can be dealt with. Yeah. Oh, am I back at the start or something? No, I'm not. Alright, Chief. This ain't it, Chief. Ah! Uh. Yeah, this thing's a horror movie monster, and you can't. Yeah. You, you can't change that. Slow moving, and if it catches up to you, you just lose. Yeah. I signed up to play Ratchet and Clank, not fucking Dead by Daylight. If I wanted to play Alien Isolation, I would have <laughs> bought Alien Isolation. <laughs> <laughs> I know I could sneak through this area, but... SNEAK! Uh, yeah, I prefer that type of sneak. Uh, Scout Rogue Sneak. Yeah. Or, uh, Twilight Princess version of stealth. So, DM in question. Sure. Do you think that a character should be allowed to make a stealth check to hide in the same round that they've attacked an enemy? Uh, sure. I mean, if they get to an actual hiding place. Because this means that an enemy or a character with uh, greater invisibility can straight up hide whenever he wants, even after making a full attack. 
Oh yeah, because hiding isn't an action. It's made as part of an a another action. Notably oh. movement, of which a five foot step is. Huh. So, oh. so that means that as long as you five foot step after a full attack, an invisible person just straight up can't be targeted. Huh. Even by attacks. Because they don't know what square you're in. I mean, isn't that already the case? That, like, you can't attack him because they're invisible? Well, if you know what... you don't know what square they're in. If you know what square they're in, then you, they just have a 50% miss chance. But what difference does the stealth roll make? If you just five foot step, they already don't know what square you're in. Well, the stealth roll is part of, like, codifying. No oh, right. I gotta G this shit. Mm -hmm. No furry balls allowed. Well, the stealth check is part of codifying that, right? Where, like, theoretically, if it was a rule that you couldn't make a stealth check to hide, then an invisible player could still be targeted if they were, like, engaging in combat. Why? I'm not sure why this is a thing. Well, whatever. Oh. I forget to get rid of the tutorial text every time, which results in me sitting here waiting for commands and not getting them. <laughs> hey, look, it's a dude. Yeah, I ain't having none of that shit. Fucking cornered me in this alleyway, so I can't do anything about it. Well, well, yeah, I should probably to have that Yeah, okay, hopefully it just puts me right back there. This well, does not look to like go right through back the ice there. Cave. And to cease existence. Bitch. Oh, I can't because I can't jump. Oh wait, I don't have to jump. There's a bridge there. Hey! <laughs> Arr. Arr. Get shot on dies. Oh yeah, because they did say that they just wanted you to attack. There was an intercom saying to just attack anybody. What? Really? Yeah, I think you missed it. Yeah, I did. Also, you lost two thirds of your health. Yeah, I know. Why aren't they attacking each other then? Huh? Good question. Okay. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to cheese the level when I really should not. Please, please, leave me alone, please. Oh wait, I can just leave. But now I have no health. Again. Oh, cool. If I get near him, he just instant kills me. Okay, cool. Good. That's what I figured. Good to know. This is what I get for just not playing the game. Good to know that melee is as useless as it always is. Yep. Bitch. It was somewhat functional for, like, one game, and then it stopped being good. At all. Yeah. I don't even know if it was functional for one game. It was functional for like half of one game. Yeah. Clipping through a corner to prevent them from doing it. Bitch. I don't know why, but that was really funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. Because it's right. just dumb. Alright. 
use the buzz sauce, because that shit melts. Okay. Like, nearly as well as the account. I mean, sure, and it does have better ammo. Oh, fuck off. There's nowhere for me to go. Yeah, you just have to pinpoint the shit. Alright, good. It's over. Hey, this is where we're supposed to be. So, in order this is to get the data. Computer. Computer. How do you How turn do you this turn thing, thing on? on? It appears to have been damaged by space pirates. Perhaps I can repair it. Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm. Oh no. Send Clank to the IRS. <laughs> He needs to file his tax returns. I don't remember how to play Clank, I'm sorry. Is this the thing I can stand on? Yeah, it's just a piece of transparent glass. Huh, I guess that's a thing. Okay. Greetings. Follow me. You little shit. Ow. Oof. Okay, that's still apparently pretty fast, even when time is frozen. Easiest puzzle ever. Yeah, what the hell was with that? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna come back later. That looks like something that's gonna come back later. It looks like something that might come back right now. Right. Oh. Right. Okay. Time to suck. Levitation. Mm -hmm. It's time for suck sex. Wouldn't it be actually kind of neat if uh, the amount of um, levitation you got was dependent on how many you had? That would be interesting, like, they all act as sort of battery pods. Yeah, because then you could, like... Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, right, they just attack automatically. Because they just, like, uh... Because then you could make a puzzle where you have to, like, find a certain number to get over a gap, or... Yeah, that could be interesting. You know, know which gaps you can and can't cross. Mm-hmm. Sense of progression and whatnot. Sure, yeah. Right. Even if it's a mostly mini sense of progression. Yeah. But I mean, this already is kind of like that. It's already kind of a yeah mini thing. So I think oh, it could. God. I think it could be good. That's a lot, but oops, that's not the right. Salute. Salute. If you don't, th if you think I'm walking through that shit, you don't know me. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like that was something they intended. Then why did they put this fucking slowdown thing here? I don't know. In case, in case you decided to do it the normal way. In case you were a fucking idiot. Like, uh, uh, why is that not? It looks like the right path is just a trap. But the left path you could potentially do. What do you mean the left path? Here? Yeah, the left path seems like a trap because there's no safe spots. Oh yeah. The right one, maybe. Ooh. Why did I do this? Was there no point of coming here? Well, this might kill me. But I'm doing it anyway. Hey. Ah. I mean, at least in this game, you know, Clank has some interesting shit. Yeah. Interesting is a word I would use to describe this. Mm -hmm. There's another, there's more dudes over there, so I gotta go get them. Acquire fellows. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. It does at least feel a little bit satisfying to, uh, what the fuck? Okay. I'm not gonna question that. It does at least feel a little bit satisfying to, uh, learn to quickly manipulate the levitate command and whatnot. Yeah. To actually, like, rush through the level. Mm -hmm. I could see this being an interesting speedrunning game. Yeah. Even if most of the ratchet levels are going to be you quickly juking most of the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> you can't shoot me, bitch, I'm Jesus. <laughs> Very good out of context, Cole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yar. Also, there were, like, power-up stations just behind you. Yeah, I missed them. Oh, yeah. So there are. Well, good thing I used my army against the enemies. Mm -hmm. I still can't, like, shake the concept of them being the aliens from the <laughs> Yeah, I, they I just, forgot you said that, and now I remember. Like, they have the exact same voice. Can, I'm wondering how long you can spend doing that. I think it's infinite. I don't think there's a limit. Alright. Let's pick this up, um, Lego style. Like, tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Tick. <laughs> Whatever that noise it makes is. Yeah, like get like I'm a whole bunch of here. get like a whole bunch of studs. Yeah. Just gets fucking shot to death. Hmm. Is it me or is that an anime girl? Oh, it's her. So subtle. I like it. You understand it's bad because the planet has the word doom in it. <laughs> what can you tell me about the dimension? So, how does it work? Is it me or does this supercomputer have an accent? Hmm. Then how did Tachyon survive? Huh. Wait, Tachyon was raised by the Lombaxes? So, where's the dimensionator now? No, wait, where did the Lombaxes go? Why did they leave me behind? We need to get to Gertrude City. If we can get our hands on the dimension, a wormhole device is too dangerous for anyone to possess. But now, please, the Zombie Saint Talwin is in trouble. We need to get to Zordudu. You know, Clank, just once, I wish you'd listen to your real friends instead of your imaginary words. Oof. Damn. Got some of that Ratchet and Clank sass going on again. Mm. From the very first game. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Alright, well, that's the thing we did. Yeah. We did good. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, a little weird that the Iris uh, device gave you just enough information <laughs> to continue the plot. And not enough to spoil anything. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yeah. The computer, the computer wasn't actually running out of battery. It was just like, nah, dude, I'm not giving him spoilers. Come on, that's it, not cool. It was running on plot fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Ratchet, please understand. The 
Dimensionator must be destroyed. Why? Because your imaginary friends told nice. you so? Justin sent a good one. Okay, I'll see it later. No, timing was perfect, Quark. Did you get the holographic schematics of Zordon we asked for? No need for holograph, Ratchet. I am to be a skilled schematic artist, trained in the prestigious Kurvan learning annex. Behold! It's gonna be shit. It's gonna be a child's drawing. Actually, that's better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. To be entirely honest. Okay. Rats is going to look like shit, though. <laughs> yep. To infiltrate this fortified fortress of fear, our agent, codenamed Dead Meat, will make his way along the grind rail of certain death, traverse the walkway of tortured souls, and ascend the grab ramp into the mouth of the Jolly Jackal. While I direct the operation Sounds like you've got a fun level. Our agent will jump down the elevator shaft to the lair of eternal sorrow. It is here he will be confronted by an army of tachyon troopers, a battalion of embattled bandits, and an entire school of zombie ninja panda bears. Is that a TMNT reference? I don't know. But if there are not zombie ninja panda bears in this le next level, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, you, they, they got to have them now. Yeah, you, you've, already, you've already set this stage for this. It has to happen. Yeah. Legally. Like, you can't just pull out of on, uh, on I will now. sue you if it does not. You can't pull out on this deal now. <laughs> yeah. That would be exactly the type of shit for this game to do, though. <laughs> Say that, and then have it actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, go to, do, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we want some. Now the thing on the right is all you need for the next thing, so, but unfortunately we don't have... Oh, we do have enough for it, but not for the big thing. Antimatter transflexive. It dynamically reconfigures the molecular structure of any target hit by the weapon, allowing the beam to pass directly through the target and hit additional foes. Ah, okay. So it's like the plasma beam from Metroid. I... short. <laughs> That's what it does. Yeah, I know. I figured. Whatever. I could assume from context clues. Pyroblaster? Yeah, the Negotiator. <laughs> Blow your opponents to smithereens with the final word in rocket-propelled incendiary <laughs> devices. What's nanoswarmers? Ah, A it's single hive deploys dozens of nanosecs that attack your enemies with pyrocytic stingers. That could be good. Oh, 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 there's something I forgot to do while I had the controller. I didn't what? want to say it, but now I have to take the controller back for a second because I missed my opportunity to do God this. God damn it, Blake. I was going to do this, but I fucking missed my opportunity to fucking do this shit. Cheats. No, it's not the cheats. Skin I want, things. uh, skins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mustachio <laughs> Fury <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm satisfied. Here you go. God damn it, Blake. <laughs> Are That's we, all I wanted. Are we, re are we really playing through the rest of the game as Mustache and Furio, so... <laughs> I wasn't going to make a big deal about it. I was just going to quietly do it and not address it. Dude. But, but I forgot to do it. And I'm probably not going to get a chance to play again tonight, so... <laughs> yeah. That just lagged out. <laughs> mustache and Furio, so... <laughs> It's literally just Ratchet still, but he's got a fucking mustache. Yeah, that that's the only difference. <laughs> that's why I like it so much. Alright, so do we want to buy any guns so before stupid. we go? Or do you think That's up to you. You can buy them if you want, I don't care. Because we might miss out on some armor, but... I got what I wanted. <laughs> I'm also interested in getting the Negotiator. That's true, you might want to save up for that. I would say either save up for the Negotiator... Or get the nano swarmers because those actually sound mm -hmm. good and they're not that expensive. Yeah, I mean it is m it's like sixty percent of our budget, but that's true. That is true. So, so maybe they are that expensive. <laughs> so here's what I think: if mm -hmm. we can't get through this in a reasonable capacity, then we'll we're get gonna the get the nano swarmers. Okay. If Sounds we like can, then we'll just keep banking. They are invisible. Oh, what gave that away? <laughs> I I didn't see them at all at first, which means it was working. I was like, okay. I can't see any of this, so I'm just going to grab a handful and move on. Alright. I mean, I think most of the good candy's already been taken. Yeah. So we're just grabbing for strips. Oh. By the way. Um. Oh. 
I forgot that this is now L controlled. You can change it back if you want. No, it's <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, uh, interesting. And there's two ways to do this. Yeah, it seems so. I guess either way is valid. Yeah. Because I can see the paths, both of them, and they're very clearly, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That Milky Way was actually really good. Oh, cool. Uh, nice. Smooth. It's time to grow. Hmm. <laughs> Fortuitousness. Hmm. That's the word he was looking for. There's still a little bit of uh, fizz widget. Fizz widget in there. This has definitely got some good flow to it. That's actually neat that they did that. Did what? That little tiny bit of fizz widget right there. Yeah. Because it was a reminder that, yeah, that game happens. Like, yeah, he tried to take over a galaxy. <laughs> that happened. Attention inmates. Anyone caught smuggling that contraband into the prison will be forced to listen to Gregorian folk <laughs> oh boy. Folk music. For 10 cycles. That's, I don't know what that means. 10 years. Yeah, I was going to say, but that sounds like years. <laughs> Whatever years are on this planet. That was actually a really precise jump on this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Stealth section. Impenetrable defense system, indeed. Hmm. As you just walk by. Yes. All right. What's next? Probably to get off of this anti-grab. Looks like you gotta find a way to do that bolt. Alright, I forgot how to do that shit. Alright, let, let me off, let me off, let me off! <laughs> it won't let me off! Alright, it's back to the end. I need to figure out how to get off real quick, because I'm like, alright, I can do this, and then it won't let me off. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Just start it now, as fast as possible. Huh? Come on. Will it let me do it? Alright, yes it will. You had just enough time. Ugh. The mustachio is looking a little worse for wear. Yeah. We got to the bus oh, what the fuck? Is <laughs> the fucking shop? What's that thing on the right? It's new. Visicopter? Radio controlled assault room. Lazy adventures across the game. Nice. That said, it is. 10,000 volts. Wow. So, maybe we should save that for later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It does seem like there's also a small bit of uh, auto-targeting. Yeah, words. I noticed that as well. After they go a certain distance, it seems like they just lock onto enemies. Just like, yeah, we're gonna start acting on our own now. Yeah. I mean, there's no other way the bouncing would work as well as it does. Yeah. So. But it doesn't seem it happens after the bouncing, it happens right away. 
Yeah, if you don't take enough time, just like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. Alright. Barring Thanos, who is your favorite Marvel villain? Um. Shoot, I haven't seen them in a, lot, a whole lot of Marvel. You've uh, seen some. Admittedly, the villains in Marvel have never been that great. Mm hmm. Uh, I liked the uh, villain for Doctor Strange simply because even though mm. he was. Yeah. Even though he was, you know, like, trying to kill you and destroy the planet, he was being very gentlemanly about it. Yeah. It was like, what, his conversation with Doctor Strange is like, what's your name? Uh. Like, Doctor Strange, and like, oh, it's strange. Well, yes, but what is it strange? Like, like, that just gave him a certain amount of personality that I, I liked. Yeah, it, he was alright. It wasn't a lot, but it was something. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if I have an answer. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure if I had actually seen um, Age of Ultron, I would have liked Ultron. But I haven't, so I can't comment on that. I also have not, weirdly enough. I've seen most of the movies. I know you said you haven't seen many of them. I know you don't watch a lot of movies. Attention. I actually have seen most of the movies, but I haven't seen that one. I kind of just felt like that entire like, arc of the story was kind of pointless. Yeah, it kind of was. The only point was to set up the... Um, vision. Well, vision, but also... Uh, what was it? The, um, the next Avengers, the Captain America Civil War. Did it set up Civil War? Yeah, because there wouldn't have been the ideological schism if it wasn't for... Oh, right. Uh, what happened in Ultra. Sokovia. The Sokovia Accords. Mm hmm So it's trying to fake me out. Mm hmm I mean, technically, either one would have been valid. No. Yeah, because you could have moved the top one down. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, now it's to chase. Uh oh. Dang it! I took too long. You had more time. To, I took on the too bottom. long to make a decision. You should have gone for the bottom one. You had more time to do it. Yeah. Oh, the middle one doesn't go anywhere anyway. Oh right. Huh. Weird, but whatever. Mm -hmm. So it is. I don't think it. No, uh, I, need I was to gonna say I also think it's easier to go to the right. And now I need to race left. this thing. Mm -hmm. And either one of these works. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Cool. Admittedly, that puzzle was actually kind of good. Yeah, I liked that one. It was fine enough. Alright, what is this trash? Do I have to fight that? Mm. I think I have to fight that. Yeah, that looks like the boss that you fought in uh, 2, I think it was. Hmm. Remember when it had the brain thing? Yeah. And then the dude with the big chain blades? Mm-hmm. Except, well, what's his name? Except, Chainblade? <laughs> yeah, Chainblade, and the other guy that I kind of died to. I guess you didn't <laughs> have to attack him. Uh. <laughs> if, you walked by, if you stealth by him. <laughs> Speaking of stealth. <laughs> stealth! I'm, I like that I was able to stealth faster. Yeah. Probably would have been the hardest shit fight, but I could have done it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's part of the uh, security system thing you're supposed to just avoid. Maybe. I mean, it did have a spotlight thing. There at the end. Maybe. Alright, what is 
this. Is this anything? No, it's not. It looks like an elevator goes there, but that wasn't one, so. It's an elevator for the arena. Okay, it looks like these bombs are mostly just for, like, stunning enemies. I like those things coming out of the wall. Yeah. That's a nice detail. Just, like, let me out. Let me out! Yeah, it actually makes us feel like we're actually in a prison. Yeah, kind of. Not... Whoa! Okay, buddy. Let's not get our, like, hopes up here. <laughs> cool. Just what I wanted to do. Curl myself <laughs> into dank, dark caves. Ah, uh, yes, my goal. This one is interesting. Okay, so we need to have multiple successes. Or else. Oh, I'm getting my stuff stuck on that node. Oof! You had to go the other way. Yeah, no, I got nothing. <laughs> All the way back time. <laughs> get oofed. Tripped me up. Yeah. But these circuit puzzles are actually kind of interesting. I mean, at least it requires mental engagement. Yeah. And quick, too. Yeah, rather than just dumb luck, like that one sphere rotating puzzle. Mm -hmm. Dude, fuck that one. That one was actually just the worst. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, come on. Ugh. Nice. Pretty good. Okay, cool. Hopefully this is worth it. Looks like a bunch of rare titanium. Might be something on the other side. Too. 360 really thing. And a and and stuff. Ton of rare titanium. This is a reminder that the Omniverse is a copy. Another gold bolt. We apologize for any I sure hope our uh, friend here isn't uh, with another enemy in the same snow. Oof, yeah. Cause I, I sure hope she isn't being murdered violently right now while we're fucking around on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> Designated survive. <laughs> How are we supposed to clear this one? Which movie do you think is the worst Marvel movie? One of the ones you've seen, because I know you haven't seen it. Uh, Iron Man 2. You think so? Yeah, of the ones that I've seen anyway. There's probably worse, but I probably just haven't seen them. Have you seen Thor The Dark World? No. Nor have I. I don't think anyone has. Heh. <laughs> Alright. So this could arc either way, but I just need to do one. Yeah. Funny how much more bearable these puzzles are when you don't have to use the tilt controls. <laughs> yeah. Ah yes, into the abyss. Oh yeah, when it actually opted to uh, turn off the motion controls for the puzzle there, it actually is letting me do this for this too. Interesting. So when it lets you turn off the motion controls, it lets you turn them off for everything. <laughs> Very nice. With your wrench. Yes, you can. Oh, it's not as satisfying. I was wondering if maybe you could hit him with the wrench and pick him up. Because <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. You could lift him up and then chuck him at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is this? this? This looks like it's good. It doesn't hurt me, but I can't get past. 
Yeah, those are the cells, I believe. Let's just force field it out. Oh, what is this? The Visicopter. What's this? It's that thing that we read that was ten thousand dollars. Oh, then why did we start with three of them? I didn't. Uh, we I... didn't start with them. We picked them up when we were on the uh, second floor of that. Oh yeah. Cell so we just need to scroll over them, and we have it in our inventory. Mhm. Mm Interesting. So we scroll over it, and it registers it as having zero out of three. So we can just pick them up later. Okay. I guess that's neat. Good to know. Either that or just because they they became available at this point. Yeah. Maybe Either I'm way, it's good to know we don't need to buy them because we just get them. Yeah, that's like 10,000 bolts saved. Mm -hmm. Because unlike the gun ammo, that's actually a lot. Yeah. Stop. Also, that's what you can do. You can stop. Also... I think I pointed this out already, but this game refills your health when you access the weapon shop. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have time this time. We just gotta move. It also looked like this one's a lot more straightforward. Yeah, so it's more like reflex based. Mm -hmm. Bro, imagine how infuriating this would be with the motion controls. <laughs> have to shoot down to the other yeah, one just too. immediately and then the left too okay. how am i supposed to do both i don't know hmm now this is a puzzle how am i so oh wait if you follow the bottom one you can go straight to the thing what uh on the right side of the screen yeah that fork the bottom goes straight to the goal Instead of taking the long path like you did. I, Restart it, I'll I tell don't, you. I don't follow. Restart it, I'll tell you. Go down, or, or you know, do the, do the normal part here. This part's normal. Okay, now go down. And right. Nope, down. There you go, now on oh, the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't take the long path, because then you don't have time to come do this one. Yeah, okay. <sighs> that one was kind of interesting. Sure. At least they try it with these puzzles. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to impress the girl? We used to use this all the time back in the We did. Wait. How did you even know we were here? Come on. 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 Wait, how do we know that you <laughs> The, the, I almost said what they're called. The weird alien creature things. That talk to, that talk to, talk to Clank. The Toy Story aliens. Yeah, the Toy Story aliens told us. Yes. I don't think we've been told what they're called yet. No, they're just the Toy Story aliens. Yeah. Stop attacking the ground. Stop them before they re-
Flip time. <laughs> he celebrates and immediately gets murdered. Yeah. Like, yeah, I hit him. Oh! Yeah, that one deserves to die. <laughs> he hit me. Also, she's going to some holding chamber to... She's just taking a shortcut so that she doesn't have to have path work, path working, uh, or whatever it's called. Yeah, path work. Yeah. Magma combustor. Hmm. Do we have a magma combustor? I guess we do. I mean, it's given us ammo for things we don't have before. Oh, that's the name oh. of our basic gun. Yeah, it got that name now that, uh, this is a level 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we need to fight this guy. Once you beat him, remember you can use the R2 double to go past. Because I realize there's a tail okay. in front of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't even need to fight that guy. Oops. Well, oh well. Well, it made this section easier. Please report to Torture Chamber 7. We have a present Please report to Torture Chamber 7. Uh. Yeah, this is an appropriate time for this. One yeah, it just fucking melted. Just one shot like, of it. Good grief. Yeah. Can I just avoid you? Yeah. That took an agonizingly long time to get going. <laughs> <laughs> Prison break time. But first, let me buy some shit. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Alright, alright. Ah, but fresh air is my delicacy, and you will not keep me from my feast. <laughs> Any other takers? Ah, okay. Last call. Ah, okay. <laughs> At this point, I'm just surprised they haven't had to, they haven't tried to rip off the Star Wars trash compactor scene. That better not be some shitty foreshadowing you're just giving me. I'd be honest, I have not played this game in a long time. If okay. it is, I'm not even aware of it. I hope it is, because it'll be really funny. <laughs> Alright, cheat. Alright, cheat. Alright, cheat. Alright, cheese. Alright. <laughs> when you're a pirate. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking that.
Also, apparently those shots deal 15 damage. Good to know. The enemy shots? Yeah. Because I'm at 58 out of 63. Or no. That's bad math. Uh, that only deals 5 damage. Yeah. Oh, 48 out of 63. No, no I was 15. right. I guess I just need to be careful. It was the health total that was wrong. Am I bad at math? No, no. It was the health total that was wrong. <laughs> yeah. These buzz blades are definitely more efficient. I'll buzz you a blade. Do it, you won't. You're right, because that made no sense. I took was funnier the first time. There was a... So, in one of our older videos, I remember there's a clip where, uh... Evan's here. Yeah. And I said... I said something really fucking weird. Like that. Mm-hmm. It's so the same thing in that format. And he said the exact same thing back to me, where he said, Do it, you won't. And I said, You're right. Because that was really weird and esoteric and didn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> That didn't fucking mean anything, so I really can't do it. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what the original thing I said was, but it was really weird. No, it's another one of these bitches. You should bust out the big boy. Alright. Just make Fuck quick it. work of this little bitch. What? Not dead? How dare you? <laughs> it just increased by several hundred points upon level up. Yeah. Like, holy crap. Alright, now I'll probably back to the buzz blades or something. Yeah. Whatever you want that isn't the BFG. The BFG is for mini bosses only. Yep. Or bosses. Yeah, bosses occasionally. I kind of feel like the rapid fire guns melt bosses a little bit better, but uh, a little bit. But I still think that the BFG deals better DPS. I guess. What is this? It looks like the fucking things um, that scare Trico in Last Guardian. It's a net. Yeah, it was a fucking dream catcher. <laughs> They wouldn't let me. You shouldn't. Anyway. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. You shouldn't try, because I don't want to fucking <laughs> watch you do this section again. Because that's probably what will happen, given my recent experience doing similar things. Yep. Wow. Huh. Maybe they would have actually let me. Mm. I like oh. how your thing sw swung around that, like, yeah, we want you to see this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, still, what you could have done. I still have full control over the camera, but still. No, but I mean, like, the ship, like, covered 75% of the rotation around that thing. Yeah, because it wants us to remember that ship, clearly. Yeah. Alright, well, we're out of here. Yeah, we're done here. We got, uh, Apogee. Tagging out. We're probably gonna be done soon. Maybe I'll do this level, but. Planet Jasmine. It's a new sector, too. Kirchu City. Capital of something domain. The Kirchu are fiercely hostile to any form of trespassers on their planets. Such transgressions are rare as all life forms in the galaxy are alerts to their species. <laughs> the Grummelnet Intergalactic Travel Guide puts Kirchu City above Zordoom Prison and the Sulfur Mines of Praxis 6. On its list of worst vacation spots in the universe. <laughs> Worse than the fucking prison. Yeah. That's saying something. Like, you wouldn't want to vacation at prison, but somehow <laughs> this is worse than that. Yeah. This is like an active combat zone or something. The Vertigris Black Hole. Oh, God, why? Oh, you just happened to get all the space sections. Yep. It's been, we're gonna do that again. You know, I think after this space section, I won't have the patience to play the level. Alright. 
But that said, the space sections in this game aren't terrible. You're correct, but I was already iffy on whether I was going to play the level. All right. This just sealed my fucking fate. Like, no, All right. I'm not doing it. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're going to go into a black hole deliberately. I guess black holes work good. Well, I mean, I'm guessing it's using the wormhole theorem. Yeah. Although Clank seems pretty convinced that that means certain death, so I don't yeah. know who's correct here. I would love it if we just flew in there and died, and then the game just ended. <laughs> Said, yeah, that's the canon end of the game. Yeah, and then the the rest of the games are sort of like uh, the new Ratchet is a clone, and he's the one who takes up the mantle of the new Ratchet. I don't know if we've been going for like a really long time in terms of like playing games together, but that is another joke that has already been made in one of our previous playthroughs. There was a fucking playthrough in, uh, there was a, okay, it was in Uncharted. And there was a section where, it was a scripted section where we jumped and we hit the ledge and the ledge collapsed and Drake started to fall. And we joked that he was gonna just die. <laughs> and that was just the canon end of the game. <laughs> and then it went on this tangent about uh, what happens when you put in the other game discs. Again, literally the same exact joke. <laughs> and then uh, I think what we, where that joke sort of ended was um, did we just go through the black hole? Did we? I don't know. It felt like we warped there. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I think we were just traveling. Oh, fuck. Uh, what the hell? Oh, shit. Anyway, so that so the, the joke ended with us being like, yeah, you just put in the next disc and it's just a video of him decaying. <laughs> I don't like these things. <laughs> I really don't like these things. Yeah. That's like the same level as those uh, bees yep. from Star Fox. I was thinking the same thing. They even kind of look like them a little bit. Yeah. From afar. Mm -hmm. With but, the outstretched wings and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's weird that you made this that joke in an unrelated <laughs> yeah. stream, and I made it on, an, on this one. Yeah. Hold on, Clank. This might be a close one. It wouldn't have been weird if that was the first time, but because there was also that other thing that Evan said, yeah, it's like we're we're really retreading ground here. Well, yeah, but it's even weirder because we couldn't have known about the other person's joke. Yeah, I mean, I did in both cases, but yeah, but you were the one that made the joke in both cases, or at least that, that put us in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I don't like these turret sections. They're kind of stupid. The aim isn't fast enough. You're not fast enough. Fine. You think I... You, you, what, you think I'm gonna make a witty retort to that? No, I'm done with you. Alright. It's over. <laughs> We're not friends anymore. He's just like, get the fuck out of my house. I'm doing the rest <laughs> of this series alone. Yeah, that was the last <laughs> straw. <laughs> you, you, not call, you calling me not fast enough? <laughs> not cool, man. Don't you know I have to go fast? How very dare he. Whoa! <laughs> His honor as the voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog is on the line. The official canon voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog. Fuck whoever that guy who has that did it for the movie. That wasn't me. Nope. He got snubbed for the role. Yeah. Because he, uh... uh I had some Twitter controversy wherein yeah. I said that dogs were not quite as cute as people say. And now nobody wants to work with me professionally. Alright. I got fired from my job as a bus driver. Mm -hmm. And blacklisted in Hollywood. And all of my roles have th therefore ever since then been taken by Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Amber Heard trying to like voice act Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> It I don't even know what her voice sounds like because, to be honest, I don't even care about it. It just wouldn't work. I literally only brought her up because of the meme relevance. But I would absolutely pay to see, like, to I hear would. Amber Heard trying I'd to play it. it. I'd torrent it. I wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> That's true. That would mean that she would be getting money. Yeah. I don't want to support I, that. I, I take that back. <laughs> I w but I still would want to hear it. Yeah. 
That's what I said. I'd torrent it. <laughs> what a weird fucking line of statements. Oh, welcome to die. Okay, they're pre they're pretending that black holes are blown holes. Right after Jacob says "Welcome to die," and then the screen almost goes black, just make it immediately fade to black, and then just like stay that way for like three seconds until it's like almost convincing that we actually died and it was over. Or alternatively, just put the Dark Souls "You Died" theme. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Black for like a solid three seconds, followed by the "You Died," and then it ends, and then we go back to the actual gameplay. Alright, this is at 3 hours and 6 minutes. 3.06. You know what, it's right at the end, I'll just find it that way. Alright, fair enough. I'm, I'm, oh god. Like I said, I'm not gonna play the next level, so it's pretty close to fair. the end. I'd hate to have to write something down after going a whole session without writing anything down. <laughs> I actually like this boss. It's actually a good boss. It's like yes. playing Star Fox. Yeah, it seems pretty interesting. Yeah. This is actually like playing Star Fox. And that, I, when I say that, you know that's high praise from me. Yeah. Because I fucking love that game. Mm -hmm. Okay, fuck it. I hate this game. Uh, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it hits me once. My entire tune changes. This, this isn't Star Fox. This is Toho. <laughs> ah! I've never played Kai, actually. I know of it. Is it and bad? I've, I've seen gameplay, and it's it's pretty intense. The gameplay is pretty intense. Speaking of intense, I have no idea where I was going with this. Speaking of tense, I'm uh, pitching one right now. If you know what I'm saying. That made no sense. Also, I think I died and also killed him at the same time. Oh my god. Oh. I'm very proud of myself for that. <laughs> now, see, I was I was trying to do that. I was trying to die and win at the same time because I wanted to know what happened. Clearly. Clearly, it was intentional. Clearly. I only ever do anything intentional. I mean, it looks like you even got the rare titanium for beating the boss. Oh, shit. Secret farming method? <laughs> Get killed at the same exact time you beat the box. Yeah. Extra rare titanium. Put a put a clickbait title on screen. <laughs> Extra rare titanium. It's a fi it's me doing like the O face. Like <gasps> I'm just imagining you doing an Ahegao face instead. <laughs> me doing an Ahegao face. <laughs> <laughs> Extra rare titanium. We just... Kawhi. <laughs> we didn't reduce the number of editing jokes, we just saved them all for the very ending. <laughs> this may be the best ending to a video we've done yet. <laughs> Definitely the best one in this series. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> this rivals that one time I animated a whole fucking scene. <laughs> the hell you choose to die on. <laughs> I released that animation separately in case you wanted it for anything. Oh, nice. I, I actually wasn't interested in saving it, but I did enjoy very much seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classic. I was like, I said I'm gonna do this. And then I immediately said, yeah, no, that's way too much work. I have to fucking do it, just to spite myself. <laughs> <laughs> just you must punish yourself. Can't touch this. Nice. See, da, when da, I actually da, try, da. I wreck his ass. Da, 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 da. 
though, that we can't touch this. Oh. Yeah, Achoo! Actually, City. <laughs> yes. It actually, like, from the planet perspective, looks pretty nice. Yeah, it does. Looks tropical. Mm-hmm. That said, it's probably going to play like a complete crap. <laughs> so far, I don't see anything wrong with it, but I guess we'll find out next mm -hmm. time, right? I mean, if the enemies are actually going to make you allergic, then that's going to be really cancerous. I have a strong feeling that was only flavor text. And that that's not actually going to be a thing that happens. I certainly hope so, <laughs> but still, there's a possibility. Ratchet, Ratchet fights his greatest enemy. Disease. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking flu. Just <laughs> Ratchet and Clank future. Ratchet battles the fucking flu. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, just a picture of the fucking like box cover art, and it's just him in a hospital bed. Yeah. <laughs> like a thermometer in his mouth. The only gameplay mechanic is uh, spamming X to f get fundraising money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's like a multitasking game like FNAF. Mm -hmm. um, you have to... S the, the objective of the game is to set up your funding campaign, but you also have to, like, maintain your breath, your breathing, mm -hmm. or you die. Yeah. Um, and also, it's a very crucial choice which crowdfunding site you choose. Because if you choose wrong, then you might get uh, fucked up later on. Yeah, it's just hard mode. Mm -hmm. Or like, uh, if you forget to report your uh, money to the IRS, then like, there's then an alternate ending where like, you get better, but then you just get butt, fu butt fucked by the IRS. Yeah, so you get out of the hospital <laughs> and immediately go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> and then that leads into the uh, canon sequel. <laughs> <laughs> where Ratchet fights the IRS. <laughs> Alright, we're done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay boring, my friends. I'll leave that one be. I'll let you have that one. Alright. <laughs>